they released a very tiny snippet of body cam footage for James Sheets murder. He was murdered. They chased him down like a dog and then executed him. And can you believe it? On a 10 minute car chase or however long the car chase was, can you believe that the cop didn't have his body cam on? You mean the cop that shot him a bunch of times? Yeah, that guy. He didn't have his body cam on? Yeah, really? You mean there was a chase going on? And he was chasing a guy down the road and he didn't have on his body cam? Nope. They released a body cam on James Sheets today on WZNAC or something like that. And the cop clearly has lost his mind. And by the way, if you slow it down a bunch, and I haven't had a chance to edit the video yet, but if you slow it down real slow, what you see is James Sheets has his hand on the steering wheel. And that's on the body cam that they released today. They released one body camera when there was 10 cops standing around. You know, a lot of people come to this channel so that they can build their following, so that they can use my name and use the title of my channel in their, in their title so that people will watch their video. Okay, fine. I hope you're making a living. Good for you. But let me ask you a question. Do you want all of the body cam released, all of the dash cam released? Don't we want to see as a society, as a general public, all of the cameras. We want to see all of the cameras released. We don't want to see one body cam released where the cop is hyperventilating. And the, I believe it was WZNAC, the body cam of James Sheets being shot. The cop unloads his gun like a psychopath. And then he says, gun, 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 but we don't see a gun. There's no gun in sight. There's a gun in sight after he reaches into the car, but there's no gun in sight then. So there's, you know, and just so you know, you know, I've been to lots of city council meetings, lots of them, where, where we're trying to get justice, we're trying to get transparency, and I don't think Struthers is going to be any different. I really don't. I don't think, I don't think they're going to do anything different at all than the rest of the, of the garbage different uh, city councils that I go to. Because remember, behind every dirty pig like that one right there, behind every dirty pig... There's a dirty city councilman, there's a dirty mayor, there's a dirty executive, there's a dirty DA, there's a dirty assistant district attorney. And so you guys release one body camera out of seven or eight cops that are there that are in this high speed pursuit. And what we see is that James Sheets doesn't ram anybody. That's what they said is he rammed me. It looks like the dirty pigs ram him. And it looks like he's sitting there like this in his car when the dirty pigs go after him and murder him and they shoot him 28 times I mean 28 times but you don't see a gun just so you know there's no gun in sight you don't see a gun on that body cam footage that they released where's the gun wouldn't you if you were gonna shoot at the pigs wouldn't you have your hand off the steering wheel but James Sheets has his arm on the steering wheel where are the rest of the cameras and why must we wait for the pigs to investigate it gets real serious when you start talking about someone getting shot 28 times. It gets real serious. All of a sudden things get super real. We want to see all the cameras, not the one that you released to cherry pick and say, look, see here, our cop flipped out and shot him a bunch of times, reloaded his gun, shot him a bunch of times more. Because he's scared. He's scared. You scared little rabbit. Scared little piggy. Everybody look around. Everybody back away. You got a scared piggy here. Got a scared little piggy. He's so scared, he swears he was scared. So, my message tonight is gonna be more toward this, this organization called BCI. Have you guys heard of BCI? This is the, this is the state attorney general's special super cops. Oh, you mean like the super cops in Toledo? Like those cops, those internal affairs cops? Not shocking. They released one body cam footage 
And then, you know, everybody, you know, uh, all my detractors just, they just pointed out how, how, how transparency, the idea was so stupid, but you can't see what's happening because the guy's shooting the gun and the body camera is covered with his arms. You don't get to see what's happening. That's why we have body cameras, so we can't see what's happening. Is that why? What, I, so remember, let me ask you guys a question. What is more important? And I want you guys to answer this if you would, please. What is more important? The spirit of the law or the letter of the law? Which is more important? Just take a poll right here, right now. What do you guys think it is? Is the letter of the law more important than the spirit of the law? Which is it? Type it. Type it before I get to the city council meeting here in Struthers, Ohio. Go ahead, what is it? Spirit of law or the letter of the law? Which is it? Because most likely you'll be guessing because you don't know the answer and that's okay. It takes a long time to learn this stuff and I'm very fortunate I have an amazing teacher and I have an amazing mentor, an amazing friend who has taken the time to show me procedure, legal procedure and even a deeper understanding of constitutional law. Which is it? Spirit of the law or the letter of the law? Which is it? Spirit of the law or the letter of the law? What is it? It is the spirit of the law. That is more important. And and you go back to, to a book called Spirit of Laws by Charles de Montesquieu. Maybe you guys have heard me talk about uh, Montesquieu a couple times before. It is the spirit. It is the spirit of the law that is the most important factor when considering law. Come on, psycho. There it is. Okay. So we're gonna go talk to the city council members here, and we're gonna let them know in no uncertain terms that the current system of putting a body cam behind a guy's arm shooting that doesn't work. That's not working. That doesn't work for us. I'm thirsty. I get a little fired up when I go talk to people who claim to, a, you know, have an oath of office and they want to uphold the constitutionality of law and hold up righteousness, but yet the body camera goes behind the guy's arms when he's shooting so we don't get to see what really happened. What good does it do? What good does it do if we can't see? If we can't see what happened there, I don't care if you had a body cam on the guy or not. We can't see what happened. And then the other filthy pig, Matt Haas, he forgot to turn his body cam on during a high speed chase. Okay, right. Do you believe that? Who believes that? Who believes that his body cam, oh, he killed somebody today, just forgot to turn it on. How about the dirty pigs don't get in charge? They're not in charge of turning it on or off. Once their, eye, once their goggles are activated, that's it. They can't turn it off. It runs the entire time. How about that? Why not that? Why can't we do it that way? Why, why do we? Why do we want? Why do we want pigs turning on and off their body cameras? Why do we want that? How come we want that? Why is that? Why is that? I don't want the pigs turning on and off body camera. I don't want it. Why is that? How come? Do you guys think the pigs should be able to turn their body camera on and off? Just let me know. Yes, they should be able to turn it off, or no, they should not be able to turn it off. Just vote for me down there. Just let me know. Hey, just let me know. You think pigs should be able to turn on and off their body camera? You think that's appropriate? You think that's appropriate? And then the body camera goes behind their arms? You think that's right? You think that's okay? Why do we pay for a technology that's defective and doesn't work? Well, because the state doesn't care. If you, they murder someone and it's not on camera, it doesn't bother them because then they don't got to do a payout. But unfortunately, James Sheets was shot with excessive force it's it's preposterous how many times the man was shot and then the, the only body camera they release we can't see what really happened we can see that James Sheets has his hand on the steering wheel when the cop begins to open fire and screams gun 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 I'm scared I'm scared I'm scared I'm so scared I'm so scared I'm just terrified I'm so scared I passed it I'm so scared. I'm terrified. I'm just terrified. And then the, then the filthy pig on the body camera is hyperventilating. The pig's hyperventilating. You can hear him doing it.
You can hear him doing it. He's hyperventilating. <laughs> Welcome to the big boy world, Piggy, where you killed somebody. May you rot in hell for what you've done. Let me just see where we are here. <clears throat> Hello? Yo. Hey, I'm looking for that, uh, I'm looking for that town hall meeting. Where's that at? Do you know? Down the so down at the end of this road? Yeah. On the right hand side? Yeah. Thank you. On my way here, of course, there multiple pigs had people pulled over on the side of the road. It must have been an emergency. Someone must have been in diabetic seizure. Someone must have got stung by a bee and needed an EpiPen. Someone must have done something. Somebody, right? Or, or not. Oh yeah, this is it. This is where I parked the other day. Let us see, let us see. I'm just gonna park right here real quick like. And then I'll hustle down there because it's seven o'clock right now, so we're just starting. I'm, of course, as usual, friends and family, I'm going on very little sleep. <laughs> I'm talking very little sleep. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Just that simple. I'll sleep when I'm dead. There's no other way to see it. Let's go see what these, let's go see if they have any answers for what they've done. Let's go see. Let's go see if they have any answers for what they've done. I don't think they're gonna have any answers. Do you guys think they're gonna have any answers? I don't think they're gonna have any answers, but let's find out. Let's see. There it is. Go down that way. I remember you. How you doing? How you doing nice to see you again. You go down and up the driveway. They'll have like a security guy there. Go to the metal detector. Okay. Just make sure like the keys or whatever. Okay. Thanks. This is called government redress. So let me give you guys a little history lesson. Did you know that the reason why? Traditionally, why you're not allowed to bring your gun to a, to a town hall meeting is because it is a place for government redress. So when you go to a town hall meeting or a city council meeting, what you're looking at is it's a place to redress your government. So a place to redress your government. You need to turn that off right now. Is it a city hall meeting? Mike, if Mike, if I was you, I'd let me in, man. You can't, you can't ban me. You're a public official doing your job. You can ask me nicely. I might respect you if you like, but don't, don't demand me. Don't me. Dude, that's not going to work, Mike. Please let me in, sir. Or face a lawsuit. You have, you do what you want. I'll, I, I sue lots of people. I, I will list you in a federal. You, you cannot ban me because I have a camera and I'm a journalist. Sign in. Print first and last name address for me. I'm not giving you my address. You forget it. That's my name. There you go. 
just so you know. So. Oh, the prosecutor's here. How you doing, sir? Just so you know, this is a lawful meet. Of course. You're allowed to be here. I'm the counsel does not care if you record in there. I'm sure they don't because it's, it's legal for me to record. That's the whole I, point. Absolutely. Okay. But it is still a meeting. Sure. Don't disrupt the proceedings. You will get three minutes. Everybody gets three minutes to address counsel. Comments get addressed to the president of counsel. The mayor does not sit on counsel. It's so, not her meeting. I see. It's city council's meeting. They're having technical difficulties and in there. Sometimes the microphones get too close. Okay. So just as long as you don't disrupt the proceedings, you're fine. Why would you talk why would you tell me these things? I don't understand. I'm just letting you know. I go to lots I'm, of city council meetings all over the country. I'm letting you know that I'm letting you know I have a right to be here to redress government. I'm yeah, not doing anything wrong. You can go address government. Okay. All I'm saying is don't sure. address the mayor. Why well, I can't address anybody I want. It's the city it's a city council meeting. I understand that. No, 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 no. Yeah, back door. Back door. I see. How are you guys doing? Nice to see everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, hi, Mayor. Hi, nice to see you. You look very lovely today. You're welcome. You're, why are we pulling the name tags? That's it. Some seven. What about public comments? So you're. So, wait a minute. So the meeting was at seven, and they start. They they ended at seven <laughs> ten. The meeting's over. You guys don't want to hear public commentary. How about release all the body cam footage? How about we release all the body cam footage? Why didn't you address them when they were in session? I don't know, Karen. I'm not caring. Karen, I don't know, Karen. You, you tell me. Homie. Go 25 miles per hour. So, so make sure you do 25. And, and you are what? I'm, You're Ken? I'm nobody. Ken and Karen? I'm no, Why don't you? we release all the body cam who footage? Who are you? I'm You're nobody. Leave. You're nobody. You're nobody. You don't tell me what to do. You're nobody. You don't tell me what to do. You're nobody. I'm standing right here on it. I'll do whatever I like. But you're still nobody. I'm a nobody. Who are you? I'm a nobody. Okay. So, so you guys release all the body cam footage. They, you're gonna bust. Did he just threaten me with violence? There's the Fourteenth Amendment right there. Is that equal protection under the law? Those are fighting words. That's Chuklinski versus United States, 1942. That's a violation of my rights. I'm going outside. Sure, I'll step outside if you'd like me to. Okay, we'll talk out here. So they, they, these cowards uh, adjourned. These cowards adjourned the city council meeting. They adjourned the city council meeting. I mean, this. So, you're the prosecutor. Why don't Why don't we talk about it for all the public? There's There's hundreds watching. Why Why can't we address the city council? Why did it close at 7:05, 7:10? What happened? You go back and look at our meetings. Our meetings are only five, ten minutes. What long. happened, Mayor? Late. What happened, Mayor? So you guys got it in and out so quick. What? Come on. <laughs> Our meetings are five, ten minutes. It's not my. Your fault. meetings are five wrong. or ten minutes. Do some research. Wow, wow. Okay, I mean, dude, dude, you, you're, you're. Why wasn't it live streamed? <laughs> Why wasn't it live streamed? Hey, how you doing? Every meeting doing? is Actually, supposed I'm to Sam be Sam live Kelly. streamed. Hi, nice Sam. To meet you. Nice to meet you too. How you doing? Nice to meet you too. Was there was there was there a guy going to attack me outside? I, are you going to attack me? Are you going to physically attack me? Well, it might be a joke, but I'm not someone you physically attack. I'm not that guy. A lot of guys think a lot of guys say they're going to attack me, but then they just don't. Then they just don't. Then they just don't. They don't physically attack me. They never do. You want to know why? Because everybody knows everybody knows how it would go if you attacked me. Everybody knows it. It's no secret what I do. This is a joke. I mean, I mean, do you guys think this is okay? You guys are Struthers cops, right? Just so you know, you got a black eye. You got a black eye. You got you got to release some body cam footage. Or are you gonna hide all the cops now? He's gonna hide them all. Everybody, quick, get them in here. Don't let anybody talk about this. Everybody, be quiet. James Sheets was not murdered. James Sheets was not murdered. He wasn't murdered. Everybody. What's there not to talk about? They opened the floor. James to the Sheets was not murdered. They opened the floor to the public. Go, go ahead, Ken. They opened the floor to the public. It ain't. It ain't their fault. You weren't there to talk about it. Seven oh five, huh? They Five gave minutes. Everyone ample opportunity. We were here at seven o'clock for the meeting. Oh, I see. We were here. Yeah, things okay. that are important, you're usually prompt for. You know. Oh yeah, gotcha, gotcha. 
I mean, so what do you benefit I, out of this? You, do you like James Sheets being murdered? Do you want all the body cam footage released? Listen, dude. Do you want all the body listen, cam footage dude, released? Do you, do you have, have the dash cam? Did, did you, were you there? Where's the dash cam footage? Were you there? Where's the dash cam footage? The dash cam footage is on WKBN.com. Go watch. Great bike, dude. Where, Go watch. Where's the dash cam? I, 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 I'm standing right here. You, equal time. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Get paid for this stuff. Oh, I'm making you're millions. I'm, make, I'm making you're millions, fool, dude. I'm a multi-millionaire. No, you're a fool. I'm a fool, really? I teach constitutional law. Okay. Do you want to have a debate? Fix your glasses. Do, do you want, want to have a debate? Because you're an idiot. I mean, do you want to have a debate? Look, look at look at the townspeople are upset. You think James Sheets being shot 28 times is acceptable? Do you think that's acceptable? You guys got a black eye. You guys didn't turn on his body cam. Why? He chased the guy down at high speed. Uh, off the, what, wait, who are you to Who are you to I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop. Who are you to authorize? I'm not covering this shit. Who are you to author? He's, he's authorizing kicking people off the property? Who's this man? Are you a public official? Are you a public official? What's your name, sir? What's your name? If you're no, identify yourself. Yes, you do. Are you a public? Are officer? you a cop? I'm your fucking daddy, bitch. You ain't my daddy. I'm your daddy. You are nothing I, to me. I own your you ass. Are nothing I to own you. You are a, to you are a silly little man. Go ahead. You are a silly little man. Keep, keep pointing you are your finger at me. I'm, I'm right here, brother. Keep pointing you, your right here. There's a camera right here. Everybody can see Get what out you out do. Of my space. I'm not in your space, yes, dude. Yes, you are. You Get have equal opportunity to talk. I did have equal opportunity. Oh, so nobody should be upset. Do not redress your government. Do not. Don't redress your government. Don't do it. Everybody be quiet. James Sheets was not murdered. We released one body cam out of 10. One body cam out of 10. Where's the other 20? Where's the other 10 guys on the scene? Where are they? Well, they were, they were Youngstown. You got to go to Youngstown to get there. What about the cops? What about him getting hit? They rammed Whoa, him. Whoa! What? Too many questions yeah. coming at me. Let's calm down because he's a prosecutor. This man has an education. Let's talk to him like, like he would talk to me. So how I how I think I have been talking to you. I'm, for I'm, the last, I'm, I'm for redressing the last my government in a redressing how of government. I've been treating you with personally with respect. Not, I'm not but treating respect. you with disrespect. I'm upset right now because you shut the meeting down. I did not shut the meeting down. Go back and look at our council meetings. They're no longer than ten minutes long. We got a small and, city. And then you got the cops. Look at the cops. Th this guy's for murder. He's for like yeah. Screw all the body cam. If it was your cousin or your Don't brother. Don't point at me, dude. Don't point at me. There you go. You're a tough guy. I'm super tough. I'm actually really I tough. I can see it. No, 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 I really I am. But I don't I fight people it. on the street. That's not how it works. I can see it. So listen. You want to put gloves on? Let's do it. Yeah. Gloves? No, no, dude. I got a gym. I got a gym, homie. Come on. You're Those are fighting guy. words. Those are fighting words. Those, you just said you're that's a tough guy. No, I am a tough guy, but I'm not challenging you to a fist fight. I said let's hop in the ring. <laughs> Which first time? <laughs> yeah, my first time. Which so these people are upset, but they have no reason to be upset. Oh, it's my mother. Now you're talking the about my yeah. about my mother. Yeah, the first time with his mom. The, my, go ahead, go. get mom Is jokes in, brother. Get mom jokes in. Leave you're so here. tough. No, you you're are. so tough. You are. You admitted it. I'm nobody. This is called redressing your government. I have a right. To, do you know why? You missed the meeting. I missed the meeting by five minutes. Meeting. Huh? Five minute meeting. They opened it up to the floor what for are you everybody. Upset with me for? Why I'm don't, not upset. Why with don't you release the body cam footage? Why don't you guys? Why don't you release? The because body it's not my responsibility it. to release one any body. body footage. I'm a public. I'm a public what, what are you? What's your name? I don't have to tell you my name. Okay, this is are your you this is your public official here in Struthers, guys. I'm not a, no, 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 I'm not a public official. She said you were. The no, man. I'm not. Get your shit right. Now you're screaming. You're right. I'm screaming. Okay. You're accusing me of something that I'm. Well, not. you got the biker I'm over here. Citizen. He doesn't mind murder. He's okay. He's okay. But the, but, but the grieving wi the grieving widow has no no reason to be upset. She has no reason to be upset. She shouldn't be. A hey, what? Where's the body cam footage? We got one body cam. We have two grandsons at home. We got one body cam. You guys, hey, it, go, it falls back on you, Captain. It falls back on you. Where's the rest of the body cam? Where's the rest of the body cam? You released one piece of garbage release, body cam. But I didn't release anything. The, where is it? Where's the rest any, of it? You released one any. that shows the guy, guy ramming. Any, I didn't release anything. It's a black eye on you, dude. I, 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 bro, my man. First of all, what is, what is, you don't have to tell me. What is your name? Like I address you like a gentleman. My name is Jose. Jose. Nice to meet you. 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 Nice to meet you.
You're just barking up the wrong tree. I'm barking no, up the wrong no, tree. No, no, no. As far as you're just, I don't have the body. I don't. I'm not the administrator of that. That all goes through the channels it goes through. The council don't do that. The mayor don't do that. That goes through. It goes through. Why are all these people upset though? How come? Why didn't they get to talk? But who get to talk? These people are three minutes each. None of them got to talk. I'll show you. Hold on. Hold on. You're calling me something I'm not. Okay. All we ask is if you you're you're screaming at the top of your lungs. You're the one sitting here screaming in Matthew. My man. Hold on, come on, come on. Come on. That guy is? You're just yeah. trying to his wife. My man, hey, hey. Go ahead. There's the agenda for today. This is it. It's your copy. Well, it's hers. I gave it to her. But if you Did want any of these ladies get to speak? No one was in there. Oh, I see. I see. No one so if you're, if you're not there at 7, you knew people were coming here today, though. You knew. That's why, that's why you guys got rid of it in five seconds. Listen, listen. listen. I know you're, you're a big public records guy. I'm all for that. That's awesome. Then release them. Listen. I'm talking about for the council meetings. Go back. Go back and look at all the council meetings. If there's nothing on there, they go there, they give the finances, they ask. Now listen, hey, they held a lawful meeting. They said, Does any, is there any comments from the council? It's on It's on Facebook now, it's archived. No one addressed it. But you knew we were coming. Every, they started at seven, bro. They're not gonna wait for you. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't mean to disrespect the call. Call me bro, dude, I'll call you dude, I'll call you homie, I'll call you, call you, I'll call you started, all those things. They started at seven. But let me ask you guys a question. Didn't you know we were coming? Didn't you know that, that, that we were coming? Everybody knew we were coming. I announced it the other day. But the, but I announced it the other day. And now you guys shut the meeting down in two minutes. Why do you care? Why does he care? Why does he care so much? What, what? Oh, your family's the murderers? Your, your family's the murderers? Which one's your family? Go ahead, identify yourself. Is it the, is it the Haas murderer? Is it the Matt Haas the murderer? Is that who it is? Who's the murderer? Leave, Who's the murderer in your sir, family? Can, can you please Who's the murderer in your family? Sir, murder your mom's pussy. Oh, now it's my mom again. The education of an elementary school kid. He's got the he's got he's got the the candor of an elementary school kid. But you guys, listen, you were on the force. You go down as being a part of Nazis. You go down. And this guy is just so mad, I would film him, and you're screaming at the top of your lungs. What about the guy who's dead? What about this family that wanted to redress city council? People need to be held accountable for their actions. Okay, but they're not being held accountable. Break the law, you there, there, goes, there goes the cousin of the murderer. There goes the cousin. Why didn't you hold the meeting longer when you knew we were coming? Not my meeting. Not your meeting. I, not my meeting. Not it, your meeting. We don't hold the meeting for... How you hold the meeting for the people! How did, Wake the fuck up! How did I know you were actually going to come to the because meeting? Because I said I was coming. You weren't here at 7 o'clock when the this meeting This is started. for the people. This is for the people, not for you guys. And it was open to... There were people here. People people were in the meeting. You weren't there. I don't know what to tell you. That's your fault, not Why ours. don't you say there's people coming to redress the government? Why because, don't you say it? So how long am I supposed to wait in case you don't come? Five minutes! Five minutes! You had your meeting. Didn't it's a public up. meeting. Sorry. Come, come in two weeks. Come in two weeks. Everybody's upset. You guys did a great. You guys did a great job. This is real leadership. Real leadership. Great job. Great job. You don't think we have a right to see the body cam footage? You don't think we have a right to see it? You don't think we have a right to see the body cam footage? We don't release the body cam footage. We don't release it. Okay. Oh, he now he can't talk to him. Why do you, why do you hire people to carry a gun if they can't talk? Come on, come on. No, no, I missed the question. I'm, I'm why do you hire people who are not allowed to speak? If he can carry a gun and shoot me, he can freaking talk. I'm telling him not to talk. Why? Because I'm telling him not to talk. Why? Because if you need to talk, I'll talk to you. I'm the supervisor on duty. If you need to talk, why didn't you guys hold the meeting for five minutes so we could come in? Just go where? I thought you were leaving. Hey, fat boy. Hey, 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 hey fat boy. I thought you were leaving, fatty. Yeah. I thought you were leaving, fat boy. I thought you were leaving. You have no significance I thought you were leaving. in my life, you fucking oh, oh, I got a lot. Why are you still here? Then why are you still here? Why are you still here? Take you and your badass bike and fucking...
Yeah. Are you gonna do something about it? Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Are you gonna do something yeah. about it? Yeah. One hundred percent. That's trust a noise me. ordinance. Trust me. You're not gonna do anything. There's a noise yeah. ordinance in Trump. You're pathetic. That that wasn't you're disturbing pathetic. the peace. That you're wasn't pathetic. just. All of you are. All of you fucking covering up for him. I might have not. So so, but you're not gonna give him a ticket as he he purposely he purposely hurt our ears to dis to dis to dis. I'm not gonna give him a ticket. No. Why wouldn't you? Because I'm not. That's the Fourteenth Amendment. Is there not? Is there a noise ordinance here? No. There's no noise ordinance. Yes, there is. Well, somebody's blasting their huge music in their old school. Hey, look at that. Quit this job now, honey. Do something else with your life. This is an embarrassment. This is an embarrassment. You're a better person than this, and you know it. You know you're a better person than this inside. You know you are. Resign now. I'm not kidding. I don't. I don't know who you are. You're probably a daughter of somebody. Oh, have a good day. You guys didn't let people redress their government. You guys made sure the meeting could end. I mean, and you. You should be ashamed of yourself. I talked to you face to face. And he was on Facebook talking shit about JJ. That prosecutor was. On Facebook, talking shit that JJ deserved to die because he had a criminal record. Obviously, these people deserve to die because they're shit human beings. JJ wasn't a shit human being. He was a good human being. These people are shitty human beings, period. And my kids, that's all my kids will talk about. That's all my son has said to anybody he's met. Strangers walk up to him and he tells them, oh, my daddy died. He doesn't know what the fuck is going on. And now he knows that his dad got shot by cops. My son was going to bed the other night and asked, Mom, asked Nana, Nana, do cops go to prison? And she said, sometimes, yeah, the bad ones do. And he said, Mom, Nana is the cop that killed my daddy gonna go to prison and she, what do you say to that you can't promise anything she said we're gonna try our hardest to make sure that he goes to prison for what he did to daddy and every second of every day that's all my kids are thinking about if anybody talks to them that's the first thing my son says, what did you so want to what did what, did what what did you want to say to the city council members tonight what did you want to talk about i wanted all the all the body cams i want to know why there's police officers that shot and killed somebody already back on duty and i want all the body cams from youngstown police and all the struthers police which i've heard already that one of their body cams were shut off and in the video that they just posted one of the body cams there was glass still left in the car. There, all the glass was still left in the car, and he was dead in the vehicle. But when we seen the vehicle, all the glass was shot out of the vehicle. So they must have shot him again after that video. Right, they edited it. Yeah. What what channel was that body cam on? What was that? It was on WKBN. WKBN is where the body cam is. The first biggest thing that you see. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm blocking out the haters. So you guys, this is Christy Roan. She's the widow of James Sheets. She was with him for 15 years, from 15 years old to 30 years old. And now she wanted to redress her city council members. And unfortunately, they closed it with, I mean, in and out. I mean, I, I literally pulled up here at seven o'clock. Obviously, my map took me to a different location. I went over there and then I came over here within, what was it, 703, 704? What time was it when they closed it? 703, they were done. So, so that's what Christy got. She got three minutes, and that's what we're dealing with. And this is supposed to be for the public to speak. They are supposed to let the public speak at this meeting, which yeah. is why we're here. But because you know James had a criminal record and did drugs, then his life's irrelevant, right? It doesn't matter right. to his children. To his, like this man just said, he ran from the cops, so he deserved to die. Which running from the cops isn't even a felony, let alone an instant death sentence. Yes. And no man has the right to take another man's life. He's not God. Period. That's right. And did you see that they said that he rammed us? And then you see in the body cam, the cop rammed him. Yeah. Did you see that? Yep. In that body cam footage and the footage from the drive-thru that they said he rammed him in hasn't been released either, which is also what I wanted to say. The the footage from Wildcat drive-thru was never released. And in the audio, it says he tried to hit me. And then it says he just rammed me two different times. Like, and first he, he says he tried to hit me. And the other one, it says he just hit me. So clearly that was a lie. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 100% alive. Yeah. Yeah, those are the ones we said look like assholes. Is that, I think, I think that's, that, that's the mayor. No, this one's not the mayor. No, that's not the mayor. That's, the that's, that's mayor not the mayor? Like, no. The mayor left she really left. quick after I said that she was doing my nephew. Yeah. Oh, she and is? And she, 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 was. Was, she was doing him and letting his underage brothers rub her boobs at the same time. At the time. same time. That's a pretty and heavy accusation. This accu is our mayor. That's a pretty heavy accusation. 
that's a pretty heavy accusation. That's who's running the city. Are there people who can corroborate that accusation? Oh, For yeah. Sure. So she was having an affair. How old was the nephew? Well, um, this is when they were younger. Oh, I see. I yeah, see. Yeah, before she was mayor. Before she was mayor. And that's yeah. still kind but of trashy person. it sounds about the same the... to somebody who would slam the door in your face when you're asking for something that's legally yours. Right. But, and, but she left immediately when I said and, that. And what about the guy with the motorcycle? Would any of us have been charged if I had done that? Right. I yeah, would have been arrested. Exactly. He told me. I said, maybe I wouldn't have been arrested, but I would have got a ticket. Am I right? And he was like, yeah, you're right. You would have at least got a ticket. I, the cop that was being nice-ish. He's the one, he, I said, I would have gotten arrested for that. And he was like, no, you want to have. I said, I would have at least got a ticket, uh, right? Exactly. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, you probably would have got a ticket. So I'm here at Struthers. I'm here at Struthers, and I, I'm with the family of James Sheets, the, the people who are going to now raise his children, the gentleman who's going to play ball with the kids, the women who are going to have to fill the role of the man, and the it's going to be a nightmare for these children and now they're understanding that their father was killed by the police and now they're asking grandma grandma is there going to be justice for our daddy's murder and grandma's got to tell the truth no there won't be they won't even release all the body cam footage they won't even release all the body cam footage and and this guy here you know i told him plain as day i said i will be here for the city council meeting and he didn't come and this guy here says don't put me on camera don't put me on camera. And then he goes running off, don't put me on camera. Why can't you be on camera? What, what's the problem with being on camera? And we have all I mean, why didn't, you, why didn't you, now that, now that everybody's not yelling anymore, why don't you address us normally without the screaming? I already talked to you, buddy. No, no. I talked to you nicely the other day and oh, I got oh. nothing but disrespect from you, so I'm going to I'm gonna use my constitutional nothing, nothing, right nothing but disrespect. to shut up. So you don't you don't have to say anything, but lots and lots of people are going to contact you. I I'm sure. Care. Right. Don't you don't care. you don't you don't care. I don't I mean, care. Why didn't you let them redress their I government? Why, you don't care about the family. Why did you post this? I don't. Why did you post his rap sheet on Facebook? They want to know that. Why? I did not. Pat. I didn't oh, yeah. post You that. deleted it, but I got a screenshot before you deleted it. Oh really? No. You said did the police he, he chief cover this up too? No. Remember that comment? You said did the police chief cover this up too? Exactly. Yeah, we got screenshots. I've already got a screenshot. It's a lie, lie on camera. Lie on camera. You got a screenshot of that of him posting the body cam, of, of him po posting the record? He, he posted the, the thing that said what had happened in Lisbon, saying that, oh, if he's such a good guy, why did he threaten to kill the police or something like that? But he wasn't didn't. True. But he didn't. Right. But he, let me see the screenshot. I didn't get the exact screenshot because he deleted it too fast, but I got the screenshot of the notification that said he had commented on my post. Because right when I clicked on it, it said the whole thread had the, been deleted. The admins deleted the whole thread. The whole entire oh, thread. Oh, the admins? Yeah. Oh, right behind you. Yeah, and they won't Oh, do you want to get a parting comment in? Do you want to get a parting comment? Yes, I did. Actually. Okay, go ahead, man. You get. Was it your husband? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, so, I'm truly sorry for your loss. And I, and I don't know if that's maybe something that you're looking for that you're not getting. But, not at all. She's not I, getting it. No one said they're sorry I, to her. Yeah. And you, are you on part of the city council? or yes, what do you, I am. So then, so then why don't you let these people redress their government? No one's here to fight anybody. No one brought any guns. There's no stakes. There's no, there's no pyre being set up. That's no, I, I know that. Our, our, our meeting was scheduled at 7 o'clock, and, and you weren't here. Yeah, you're scared. That's, that's all I, I, I literally got and the I wrong about, directions. It about, it's, it's, it's on. I was at the front door, and they refused to let me in. Yeah, oh, well, I don't know anything about that. They didn't let that. that, that that's right. They stopped us at the front door and said, you can't. I have it on film. You can, it takes a minute or two to walk around. Sure. And in that time, they started and adjourned the meeting. It, 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 it wasn't intentional because they were expecting But it to seems be like it was intentional. Okay, well, I, I announced in, that in, I was going to be there. In two weeks, we got another <laughs> meeting. So. We could see you guys still sitting at the table when we were walking around. Yeah. We'll so they, like the back door was locked and nobody would let oh, me in. Come back in two weeks, so she, that's what she's saying? Happen. No, be, just, just be a few minutes early, that's all. <laughs> just, and I feel like the same thing's going to happen. It, it won't happen. I, well, I assure well, you, they, every, they, they, they were, they were anticipating you being here. They're going to make the meeting end. We're not going to be allowed to Or arrest us. So no, let me, no, let me, nobody got arrested. I mean, you know, every, no, the, the, everybody is very emotional. The, the guy who ran the motorcycle should have been cited. He blew all our eardrums out. Is That's, there, I mean, he revved it up at, at 120 noise? decibels. Yeah. That is was there crazy. Is there noise ordinance in public Shruther disturbance Shruther. laws in Shruther? Sure there is. Okay, yeah. then okay. he should have been charged. I the, mean, somebody get the cop just told us there wasn't. Why didn't you realize, and you should have known, they stopped us at the front door and made us go around the back, and then they stopped me there and he wouldn't let me in or I would have been there. I don't, he I stopped, don't, he stopped me I'm, at the door. I'm sorry, I don't know anything. So the, 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 the few. Your meetings? That's a uh, that's a fair question. How does the public get into your meetings if they stop me at the door? We're not trying I, to I don't know. Why they, why he sat there, he sat there to warn me about my camera, and I'm not allowed to interrupt the meeting. Okay. That was enough time to adjourn the meeting. Okay, I don't know if that was his intention. Or not. But that's on camera. You can go to delete laws on YouTube and watch the whole video. Okay. 
All right. But this is not fair. But but you can also go on and 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 watch our meeting to show that our meeting. But you, your meeting didn't redress the. Through, who, who do you serve? I serve the city of the, the people you, of Struthers. You serve the people. So right. the people came to redress you, and you guys started and stopped it so no one could get in. No, and that, then you that, all, and then when the there were six people in there, why didn't? Typical of every meeting. But it's not a typical night. There, you got the family of well, a murdered you, you, man here. You, you said you were going to be here, but you weren't here on time. It's oh. that simple. They didn't I mean, let me in. I was here on time. No, they didn't let me in. You were here. Yeah. But anyway, I, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm really not looking to get into a, a, a debate about, about that. The, the, the that, reason that I stopped was truly yeah. to, to, to say I'm Thank sorry for what's, your What's your name, sir? Of, my name is Jim Ballack. Jim Ballack? Yep. B-A-L-L-I-C-K? L-U-C-K. Jim B-A-L-L-U-C-K? One L. So they stopped me at the front, they stopped me at the back, and that was those precious 60 seconds was enough time to adjourn the meeting. And when I got in, meeting was adjourned. Okay. Well, I mean, if, you, you know, take appearances for what they're worth. No, take appearances. Know. It's a fact. You can see it on camera. Okay. Well, you can also you can also go online and watch the meeting to show that we didn't rush through the meeting. And then and <laughs> you're that here to serve very, the public. Very, very typical. Of, Look, these people are pissed people off. They want to talk about their loved one that's been okay. shot 28 and, times. And, 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 and it's unfortunate that, that the meeting was adjourned before you guys got there. So what it's, can you do to help us? Yeah. W what's the next step? My, my suggestion would be come to the next meeting in, in two weeks and just make sure. In two you're, weeks, you're, huh? You're there. That you're there on time. Is what the I was Would there your on time. Be more important so that you didn't want to wait two weeks, another two weeks. Oh, I, I can certainly. Uh, what if it was yeah, your cousin? I, I, oh no, I, I, I understand. And they all stopped that, you at the door and didn't let you in. I was there enough yeah. time, but they did. They stalled me I, just long enough so they could adjourn the meeting. I, 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 can, I can, I can understand your frustration. I, I you realize the prosecutor literally held me up with enough time for them to say adjourned when I walked in the door. Okay. That's what happened. I, 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 I don't it's on and camera. It was intentional because he knew that we were coming. It was you guys should have a limit at least that you're sitting there for at least 10 minutes. It should be, it should be at least a 10 minute meeting for city yeah. council minimum. Well, why don't you I put mean, that you in your that, bylaws? You have to be here for at least 10 or 15 minutes. You're getting paid for the meeting. What yeah. do you get paid for well, each we meeting? Have, we have meetings before the But what do you get paid for each meeting? Actual. What's your salary for that? 250? Are you supposed uh, to have meetings paid? before the meetings? Aren't your we meetings supposed meetings to be public? We always have meetings before the meetings, yeah. They're, <laughs> and they are, they're all public and they're all... But what do you make per meeting? You How many meetings are there a month? Um... Four. There's four meetings a month. So Perfect. what's your pay for that? Uh, it works out to eighty five hundred dollars a year. Eighty five hundred dollars a year. So you're talking about four, th tw you know, and seven hundred a month. This, 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 you know, why don't you, know, you just keep the meeting going? It's you're, pathetic, you're, dude. I'm upset. Okay, well, that was pathetic. I'll, I'll, I'll take that under consideration and, and speak about that with other counsel. Why don't you take it under consideration, the guy who hurt my eardrums? That was totally inappropriate. And yeah. it was shooting rocks at us the entire time. Okay. Jim, yeah. this is this is a travesty, dude, yeah. and you know it is. Yeah. This is an embarrassment, and the country's going to see what you guys did. Well, you yeah. know that. that uh, I'm not a that small we, journalist, we, dude. We, a lot of people watch we, this. We didn't uh, prevent you. Or, well, that was an, yes, you did. You stopped I, me at both I doors. Did not do you that. Our council did body not, did not but do you that. You guys, as a government, did. You as the yeah, city of you know, there. I, I, hey, you, you guys you, set like up an apparatus said, read that to stop me. Read that. Read into that. Whatever. Whatever. Read into it. It's on video. What, well, what that's body? fine. Then you have it on video. But I, like I said, I'm I'm not here to debate these things with you. You are yeah. though. That's why we're here. We're no. here to redress our government. You are here to debate it with oh, us. Oh no, I'm not. You are here to hear from I, us. I am. I am. I, just, I am. A, I am a legislator. Really, I'm. Just, I'm. I don't. Th th this is. You're not accountable to the people as a legislator. Of course not. I'm not accountable. You shouldn't have to listen to people's complaints. Oh, well, sure. Uh, I, but then I you do, made yes. sure I couldn't get in in time, and you shut I it down. I did not. You're telling. You're you're attacking me as if I'm I am personally you are part responsible of the apparatus. for that, and I am not. You're not. No, no, I am not. So you didn't say. You know, and, and all you're doing is you're antagonizing. Oh, me. I am. I, I'm antagonizing this yes. bullshit situation. Why didn't well, you, Jim? Why didn't you say, "Hold on a minute"? There's a half a dozen people here that want to redress us. I didn't know you were. We, there. I was standing there saying, "Wait a minute, what are you doing?" You guys were shutting it down. It was. It was shut down when, when you. Walked it was in shut the room. down when I walked in the room. Right. Meeting adjourned. And like I said, if it's something this important, you should have been here early. Oh, so it's my fault. Absolutely, it is. Got it. Okay. 100%. Thanks, Jim. 100%. Right. You, I, you, we got you, it. You I just want to ask time you when one our meeting question. started. You can look online when yeah. the meeting started. Who we expects a our... public meeting to be two and a half two minutes? Two and a half minutes. Right. Next time we'll be on time. Yeah. Uh, I really just have please. one question please. I'm curious about. Sure. What body within this city directs and regulates the actions of police officers? Who is above them that regulates their actions? Oh, the, I, I'm guessing that would be a safety service director and the Safety mayor. service director? The mayor well, the and the mayor safety service? That's, that's what I would guess. Yeah, that, that, that's my understanding. Yeah. Okay, that's his understanding. Okay, well, I tried to talk you know, to her I, I, day before yesterday. Friend, there again, these are things I don't, I don't want to get into with you. I, I stopped <laughs> of course you don't. Specifically, 
to you. offer my condolences, which, we'll which, which I truly time, so do you mean. Can make sure that they don't close the meeting at 655 The or only thing whatever. I could say is just make sure you're here. That's, Dude, they stopped me. I was here on time. Okay. The map took me to the Maybe wrong place, took me to the fire station. I had to stop for 30 seconds at the fire station. They stopped me at the front door. There's oh, another 30 seconds. They stopped me back here for a minute. That's your whole meeting, two and a half minutes. Yeah, it was a quick one. It was a quick we, one, we huh? Had a lot, we had one piece of legislation to pass. Oh, but nothing. We don't want to talk about the murder. That wasn't. Part, that wasn't on. That wasn't on our that's, agenda. That's not on your agenda to talk about murder. Talk about it tonight. No, no. Got it. There again, you know, you're you're got it. You're trying to put me in a situation. No, no. You just said it. You, you listen. I announced it, bud. I announced it. Thousands watched. I said, I'll be here for your city council meeting. You held me up at the front. You held me up at the back. I did and then, not hold you and up. And then you said, oh, and, sorry and about that. And here we go down that same road again that you're oh, taking I'm me Jim, down. Jim, so I have another again, question. Who's, you have my condolences. But that's it, huh? Who's the president of it. the council? What, what do you, what do you, what do you, think I'm you are do? in government. You're supposed to allow the people to redress the government because that's your role. Who's and the I president there? of the council so that I could email them and get it on the agenda? His name is Michael Patrick. Okay. Patrick. Then, Patrick. then Jim, here's what, here's, what, here's what I would ask of you, okay? Yeah. I would ask that you submit that every meeting for public has to be a minimum of 15 minutes. Okay, that's something I could say. Because then you suggest. could hold people up at the back and then go, oh, meeting's over, which is exactly what just happened. Well, and yeah. I want you to, that you, man you know, should be cited. If you've got it on, on, on video, then, then you have it on video. But as far as I'm concerned, I had nothing to do with that. Nobody on council had anything to do with that. And no, again, it was mostly the prosecutor. Yeah. Well, the prosecutor stopped me back there and it was and I finally say leave that's me a, alone. That's, that's a conversation that I don't I really don't want to have. Like I right. said, well, I stopped. I got have conversations about the people you're you're working with. Um you're here I, I am I am not there. I am not their governing body. I but I work and just so you I, know, unfortunately, I you're the only one who's taken the time to have a conversation with us. So this is the only. Well, I, you know, and I'm trying to, but you know what? You're you're very excitable, and you, and you and you bring out you bring out this the passion this, this of tension. The no, passion. no, you bring out attention. If, oh, if you it's, were it's, a little it's, bit more it's, calm, it's, it's, it would be. It would okay, be much so much so much has changed you. before yeah. before I came around, right? So much it was going to go smoothly if I wasn't here, right? I think that it would have went much much more smooth. Oh, it went smoothly. Were. If, if, if you were. Oh, if I wasn't here, then the death would just be rolled over no, 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 nice no, no, and smooth. No, no, no. There'd be no upheaval. I'm, I'm just, I'm just but saying. But no, I'm just saying. Just so, so my, you don't, you agree that justice should be served, but not by my approach because. No, I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you, that your approach could be different and maybe you, you would get a different response from people. We got one pig in Ironton to resign because he molested a girl and raped her. One what? A, one of the pigs in Ironton. A pig? Ironton. What is a pig? The pigs that were at the door that made sure that we couldn't get in, that made sure they blocked me long enough to adjourn okay. the meeting. So, you know, if we're going to start using derogatory language like that, we can... We oh, can, we can oh just... but forget the murder. Forget that they murdered somebody. No. Calling them a pig is just way too bad. No, they could put you just... in torture cuffs, take you rape cage. No, but, you know, but you've never what, been what put in name? torture cuffs. What is your name? My name is Jose. Jose. But you, have you been put in torture cuffs? Have you been put in torture cuffs? I've been in cuffs. And have you have you had to have someone look up your backside? Has that happened to you? Have you, you gone to what? the jail? It, it doesn't no. matter. Oh yes, it. Oh, you're right. It doesn't matter because it, it doesn't, doesn't no. affect you. No, it, it doesn't matter because my personal life isn't what's. Is, no, 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 no. My, on. I've been arrested. They had to look up my backside to make sure I'm not bringing drugs in their jail. Are you kidding me? How often do you pack drugs in your butt? How many times they looked up your butt? How many times have you been shot at? How many times you had a gun pulled on you? I'm not going to answer any of those. Questions. How many times you've been put in torture cuffs? I'm not going to answer those. Of course not, because it's none. Come on. No. Oh, you, you, oh, you, you, you have no idea what I've been through in my life. But I'm well, not going to well, sit then, here. Well, then, then humanize yourself you. because right now you look terrible. I look terrible. Well, you I look just horrible. Here to offer my condolences. But does it matter? You, what you've done every time is block the reason why we can't redress our government you know and what? why we didn't get here on time. You're missing the point, pal. I'm missing the point. I think you are. Yeah, he's probably there. I think they brought and him. And then after they shot him, how many times they are they screaming? Show me your hands. And he's, he's dead. dead in the car. What, like, and then minutes and minutes go by, and there's still multiple cops at this time pointing their guns at him, screaming, show me your hands. When they already had said, he's not breathing, he's dead. So they didn't even try to save his life or nothing. No, no, they didn't. They just, they... Every, then every cop came around and was pointing their guns at him. Not even just the two that shot him. Other cops were also standing there pointing their guns at him after that. After they already shot him at least 17 times and reloaded, and then the other cop was shooting him at the same time. So let me ask you a question. Before transparency was poured over the top of this, how much, how, how, how well was it going? Not well at all. Was it going Literally anywhere? Was it, it was any going nowhere. And I know that they thought that nobody cared about him, that this was going to go nowhere. This was just going to get swept under the rug. Right. Because I didn't have...
a way to make the noise I wanted to. Like, I wanted to come down here. I wanted to protest. I wanted to be as loud as I could. Sure. You know, because they just murdered my husband. Shelly. Hey, buddy. Dan. Hey. Oh, hey, Dan. How's it going, How you man? doing, buddy? Good to see you. You want to say hello to everybody, Dan? This is What's Dan. going on, people? Th that's Dan. Dan. I'm, all I'm all glaring at him. I started recording. I'm like, so, yeah, I started walking so, in front of her. So, she, he said, though, you know, I come here and I caused all this. Am I the cause of this? No. I mean, no, not at all. Are You're you, helping us. Why am You're I here? You're helping us to be the voice that we don't have. Right. You know, we don't have a voice. We don't have, you know, all the people that love us, you know, like you do. And so you coming here is the only reason they released the body cams in the first place. Right. 100%. Or they would have never released them. Not ever. Not ever at all. We would have, we, we would get no type of, any type of clarification at all. And, and you can see Claire's day in the video. He looks right up at them. He didn't move. He his had body. his he hand stuck at them, like he's stuck almost. He, he like, was he was frozen, and he had his hand on the steering wheel. Yeah. And then, of course, because the body cam is here, his arms are covering it, so yeah. we don't get to see so what all really. All you hear is the multiple times that he right. shot him. That's it. Right. And then he kept saying, "Are you okay? Are you hit? Oh, he shot at me, but not one time do you see him lift a gun up. And then magically, the shield or whatever he was holding says. Oh, the gun's on the floorboard. Right. And, right. and you can't see the floorboard at all. Right. You and then the cop. They, they knew he was dead already. They had already said he wasn't and, breathing. And then right. the cop bends over and reaches into the car, oh, and you the can't. The gun's on the floorboard. The gun's right. on the floorboard. Right. So, so I just want to redress this. I want people to understand something, right? Before I came here, nobody knew anything about they James. Even con they would not even confirm that it was him for me. They wouldn't even call and say, yes, it was him. Come jump over here. Come jump over here. What, what, do you, what do you want to say? They took his body to Cleveland, which we didn't understand, and would not release his body. They would not um, release the autopsy results. They we said it was not our business he, to have any of that. The BCI 100% told his sister, who's supposed to be the next of kin, that he told her 100% that this can take months and he was like she just was wondering i don't know months. what to do from here my my brother's never been murdered what do i do what steps do i take he said let me rephrase this again you don't have any rights this is none of your business you have no rights to any information who told her Period. who told her that bci bci yep, he flat oh, out but, said you have no rights to anything not at all Point but, blank but bci is the state attorney general super cops yes, and they're he, surely on the side of justice me. he called me he's been very nice to me he just wasn't nice to her. Oh, sure. Nice yeah. to you is you just, just play, Kate. You play. Right. Quiet, he quiet. Said, I just want to let you know that I owe Struthers or Youngstown absolutely nothing. I'm not going to cover for... He told me specifically he owes them nothing. He's not going to try to cover for them. He's just here to... to he won't even say if it's good or bad. He's not allowed to give his opinion. If he had any friends in the police department, he wouldn't be allowed to take this case. Wow. We, obviously we oh, know. what a bunch of crap. Right. It's cops investigating cops. Period. And, and so they told the sister, you don't get any right to the body. Any, no, any rights to even know what's going on with the case. Even after they closed the case and handed it off to a prosecutor, which the, they, he told me they're just handing it off to a county prosecutor. So it'll just be the same prosecutors that these guys work with right. every single day. Right, that's right. The same piggies. And did you see how offended the councilman when I said they were pigs? But yet, he has no problem with you being drug off to a rape cage right. in torture cuffs, being abused and then sexually assaulted. Right. He did, because he said, I don't even want to get into that. Right. Why doesn't he want to get into it? Because right. it doesn't affect him. Exactly. It has nothing to he do with it. He doesn't want to hear what he has a part of in ruining people's lives. I mean, is it, do you think, uh, let me guys ask you a question. Do you think that they hem me up at the front door and hem me up at the back door just long enough to adjourn it? That's Absolutely. Exactly what happened. Yeah. It's hard to think sure. anything exactly else. What happened. It's what hard to think mean? anything and else when you swear didn't. an oath to uphold the voice of people, and there's people looking you in the eye, and you're not let and into a building. Them there's that. no other explanation and for it. We only three no matter minutes. what they three say. Minutes. We only got into that building because a guy, like I think an officer, came and did the code. Otherwise, we were just standing there, and nobody was letting us in. Oh, the door was locked. And the bars, yeah, yeah. The so bars. you couldn't get in. Right, it, that door was locked, and the front door. Came and the rolling and cage we in was door. down during the meeting. They were sitting at the table, speaking into the microphone, with a rolling cage down, with a cop in front of it. They had no intention of letting anybody in. No, they didn't want to let me in. They tried to stop me, saying, "Well, hey, don't interrupt the meeting." And I, the longer I said, "What are you doing? Let me in." Right. And then I got in, and meeting adjourned right when I walked in the door. Meetings yeah. adjourned. That's ridiculous. Just that quick. Because they didn't, they and didn't. What, what meeting in the world could only last two and a half minutes? I don't know. He said, I don't that's know. how long that's they are. Question. And then we have how a pre meeting before the meeting. He said he said they had a, they had a pre meeting before the public meeting. Right, right, which so, is against all the public. Yeah. 
records lost. Right. So they're supposed to have a public meeting and they have a pre-meeting. A pre-meeting. And then look at an entire piece of legislation in three minutes. How does that happen? How do you look at a piece of legislation in three minutes? Right. Right. But things were going things were going great before I got here, right? You had you they were working with you and helping you and giving you body cam footage and nope. they were right on your side, I right? I never even got one single call back from the Struthers Police Department. Mm -hmm. Not even once. Mm -hmm. I called them just to ask if it was him. And they're like, "Let me call you right back. I'll find out." They never still to I this have day have never called their, me back or young I have talent. all of their meetings up right now. 23. And the shortest one is 13 minutes and 16 seconds. Right. The rest are like 20 minutes, an oh. hour, so an hour and 46 and minutes. And, and where are you finding this information? Um, City of Struthers, Ohio YouTube channel. City of Struthers, can I show the people? Mm -hmm. City of Struthers, Ohio YouTube page, guys. That's that's where they post their public meetings. City, City of Struthers, Ohio YouTube page. Not a single meeting shorter than 13 minutes, not even one. What's and they and they're supposed to do them live. They do all of them live, and they didn't stream this one live. Oh, they and didn't. And it's not posted on here, and they said it was. So anything to hide the cockroaches, anything to hide them, anything to hide right. them. Well, this was a pathetic display. It really I'm, was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Christy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, I had a whole list of stuff I wanted to say. Well, go ahead and say it. Do you have Do you have that list in front of you? Just pull um, that. I just that. wanted to all. I wanted to say that I wanted all the body cams. I wanted. To see him pulling a gun. I wanted to see them saying he pulled a gun at all. Even from my own, like, closure. I wanted, if, you know, like, if he did, it I wanted to see. On us, if he pulled a gun, it right. deserved to die. Right. Well, or not well, deserved. Deserved, right. deserved like, a funny word. And also, yeah, he had he his gun out and his taser at the same time. At least it makes sense. At least it would make sense. At least it would make sense. At the same time, why couldn't he have just tased him? Non-lethal force. And why did it's, he have his it, taser out like this to hide his body cam while he's shooting? Right. <laughs> he used, he was holding both at the time. Don't ask questions that make sense. Why right. do they That's have a? It. Why That's isn't it a goggle it. cam? Because we can't see a body cam. Right. Right. All and we he, hear is and the gunfire. Jacket on over top yeah. of it. And you put your jacket over the and body you camera. Which is the shield. way he regularly wears it, because that's how he had it when he pulled us over. Yeah. And I said, I'm recording, and he said, me too, and opened his jacket. Oh, and he right. opened his jacket yeah, to show right. the recording. To show yeah. that he had a body cam, but it was covered by his jacket. I see. I see. Right. So what about the people who are going to say that you know, well, James did drugs and right. he went through recovery a few times and then he ran. He ran. Like I, just like I told that guy, running from the cops isn't even a, a felony, let alone a death sentence, let alone an instant death sentence. You don't get to kill somebody because they run from you. That's why you're supposed to be trained. And multiple cops, my, I have multiple friends that are sheriffs too. He said, well, in Struthers, it might be lack of training. Oh, wait a minute, trained. wait a minute. Did you say that you have friends who are sheriffs? I thought you hated all cops. I do, but I, I mean, he, I messaged him asking him about it. I asked him, I was like, but you can't have, I asked him you can't how many bullets right. do they carry because he was shot 28 times he said they usually hold 16 and one in the chamber so i said so he had to have reloaded or two cops shot him. he did reload and he straight up told me in struthers that might be lack of training because struthers is you not trained well did you hear the cop hyperventilating <laughs> yeah like, act like he was dying he had no yeah self-control he had no self-control and he's been proven before to not have any self-control when he pulled a gun on a 14 year old boy just for riding a moped he has no self-control he's on medication for his mental health. He got on the phone, ran in front of that boy, and called his therapist and said, the medication you have me on is not working. So he must have an anger problem or, you know, some type of mental issues where he had to get on the phone and say, your medication that you have me on isn't working because I just pulled a gun on a child. So and Captain Roddy knew all this. Yes, 100%. And hit it. So just so you know, you can't hate cops and have cop Cheap friends, right. okay? Right. So that means you don't hate cops. Right. He was just, yeah, just you, somebody you, I knew that was a cop. You right. You, you, yeah. we, we, I, want you to, I want you to put this in a circle, okay? So the people watching, I said you hate all cops and she has cop friends. So you can't hate all cops and have cop friends. So right. she doesn't hate all cops. That's the point. Right. Or she there's wouldn't decent, have sheriffs yeah, who are friends. Yeah, there's decent ones. Like, there's, there's decent cops. cops. that are decent, but it's so, very she, few and far and in between. So then you're not just an avid cop hater. You actually yeah. think there's some good cops. Right. I disagree exactly. with you, but that's okay. Right. You're from a conservative family. Yeah, so like and I've just learned that most point. of the time when you call the cops to help you, it ends right. not in your favor. You never you know? call the cops. Never. Right. never. Right. Never. Any time I've ever called the cops to help me, like when we got assaulted, it didn't end. Like it, they ended up in us getting charged and right. nobody right. else. And even the right. judge himself said, why is this man not in here for assault? Because the prosecutor said we didn't get enough bodily harm to press charges.
They he said he didn't cause enough bodily harm to press charges. WD-40 sprayed in their eyes. I know yeah, it. That I know it. No I know it. Once again, the prosecutor wouldn't talk to them about these charges that were pressed against them. He wouldn't talk to her, but he, he was screaming out of his door. He didn't want to hear it. He was screaming out of his office. He was going to do what he had to do to make charges stick, which didn't happen. But it's it's just, it's it's a continuing issue. Yeah. And it's getting to the point where any government yeah. agent cannot be trusted. That's the page that pretty much me and my wife are on. If right. there's somebody who is in any way loosely or tightly associated with our government, I feel uncomfortable. Right. And it's ridiculous and it because be like I pay that. them. They're supposed they to reach be in my pocket, they safety. take my money That's right. and give it to them to, to protect me right. and serve me. But I have to worry about when they're in my presence. Right. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And then last question for you guys. What about the guy who revved his motorcycle? If any of you had revved your motorcycle, what would happen? We he told gotta, her that he, he would have gave her tickets. I told him we would have got arrested for it. His name is Jerry Varga. His name's Jerry Varga? That yes. guy's name is You're Jerry. You're pussy, Jerry Varga. Wow, those so are strong. Your wife. Wow. Pussy, bitch. Wow. So, so these people, yeah. these people are incensed. These people are incensed, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. <laughs> they, so the, That's not the we, we've known him from. Before. I've known him he's since I was a child. Who, who Jerry? Yes. Yeah. What's his no. name? Jerry Varga. He said he's, he's family members with the murderer. Who's, who's his cousin or his brother? That's the pig. That I don't know. Who's the pig? What's his name? Jerry Varga. Yeah. Yes. Jerry Varga. Jerry Varga, you're a real badass on that bike, brother. You're a real bad. Rum, rum, rum. You're a real badass. So yeah, I just did a quick Google search, like Struthers run from police, and here's two kids, you know, 1918, yeah, ran from the police. Go. I let him go. Um, and he lived. He lived. Wow. wow. From Struthers police, that. he ran from Struthers police and wow. lived and lived. But and they had they hadn't previously arrested his wife. Right. <laughs> so they previously arrested you just a couple weeks before. And right. His and this just and happened. Her. In, and his sister in law. And, right. and, and, and you got us. arrested as well. Yeah, both of us. You were arrested by which cops? Matt Haas and. Tommy Schneeman. Tommy Schneeman. Tommy Schneeman. Yep. Tommy Schneeman shithead. Yep. That's, Tommy that's, Coward. Yep. Tommy is the same one who cops. Gave her, her that. ticket. Matt gave me mine. Mm -hmm. yep. So do you think you're going to get justice? Absolutely not. Mm. We won't stop until we fight. We're not going to stop until we do. We will be here every single meeting of any type. Until there's justice. Period. I won't stop until they coming. realize that they need to, uh, if they're not all corrupt, then they need to get rid of the ones who are. To prove that they're not all corrupt. Because JJ That's the was thing. loved. Oh, JJ, JJ was loved. They just think but, that but nobody by loved many. him. He was a drug, but he was a terrible guy, wasn't he? No, he, he had a heart of gold. No. He loved his boys. And that's what's the worst part of it, watching his boy go through this. And that's why we're not going to stop. For you them. know, for Christy and especially for the boys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you got two and a half meeting, two two and a half. M m two and a half minute long meeting to not even say absolutely anything about the two cops that murdered a man. Who are one's back to work and the other one's claiming he's injured. Yeah. 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 How is choosing not to, to go back to work? What did he get whiplash by hitting him so hard? Right. He right. screamed at my son the other day too. Right. Oh. And they're already the one that's they're back to work. Now, they're, now they're this is the third sister. Home. So now they're now what are they doing to you? He's he went to the park and he was just screaming at him. So your your son went to the park after James was murdered. This was a few days ago. A few days ago. Yeah. yeah and the which, cops, cop, first couple days back. So the cop, which, which, which cop was screaming at your son? He said it was Haas, right? So yeah. Matt Haas. Matt Haas is back on duty after he murdered a guy. Wow. And now he's... It's only been one month and a week, exactly. That's bullshit. So now your whole family's being targeted by these same pigs. Right. They, they, Tina, who's like the calmest person and ever. And she does, she's never been in trouble, never, never gets in trouble. Never ever miss quiet here, never <laughs> ever causes right. anybody any problems. Right. Right. And she went outside her porch and there was an officer sitting there officer and uh <laughs> he 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 seen her and sped up ran the stop sign so he was just there watching her and now i'm worried about her too we're trying to get her out and of she town lives in the city of oh so you live in struthers and then who's 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 the football coach over at struthers roddy He's Chief so roddy. captain roddy yeah. is the football coach at the high school is he the head coach yeah okay and is your son football age to play football yeah, he's not playing this year. So he's not going to play because Roddy's the... He loves, the, he loves football. That's his he's passion. He's built for football. He's loved he's football He's really forever. good at it. He's Tell him why he's not playing. Football. He's, he's going to play he's for he's a a murderers, people yeah. that helped. That's his I'm sorry. Words. Hold on. Let, let Tina answer. Go ahead. What are you saying? He doesn't want to be associated or play for anyone that helped cover up his uncle's murder. Wow. Wow.
And not for nothing, I mean, you hear one thing on the news, I mean, just for anybody else in this city, they're not even being told the truth of what this is. So you have people like Jerry here who thinks that this, this is a joke and this dude deserved to die and he's being misled by these right. people. So yeah, at the very, at the very the least, class. all of this footage should be released to the public really so people can know the truth of what happened. No right. matter what the outcome is, people can at least Make their understand own based on the truth. <laughs> what happened. So don't you right. think the bootlickers, don't you think the bootlickers who are watching, who are full of hatred, don't, don't they want to see the body cam? Right, d they don't, should. Doesn't everybody no, want to see the body cam? they're going to suck their cop suckers. <laughs> like you said, <laughs> they're, they're cop suckers no matter what. So even if the, I feel like even if the truth is put in front of their face, they're going to yep. cop suck excuse. no matter what. They're going to cop suck no matter what. Yep. So and I feel like even if they, if they released how many times he was shot, so many people <laughs> would think, the people that are saying he deserved to die because he ran from the cops, even I think that might even enter their mind. Wow, 28 times it. is a little bit excessive, even if you ran from the cops. One of them, 22 from yeah, and, one of, and then bragging and about reload. it. I 100% yeah, could understand if a man pulled a gun on you and you had to make the choice to take his life or keep your life, I could understand that. But that is not what happened here. And then, even if that's the case, and you had no choice but to take a man's life, you don't brag about it. You don't go around town bragging, you shot him yourself and four times in the head and think it's something cool when you just took a man away from his children. So, so, so all the bootlickers, do the bootlickers want to see the body cam? I mean, the people who come here just to, to use my name, to grow your channel, do the bootlickers want to see the body cam? How many cameras do you think were on the scene? How many cameras? Dash cams, body cams, just a guesstimation. At least 15. I would say 15 to 20. Yeah, At least 15, 15 cameras 20. on scene. Because so, there was multiple cops on there. Like Each one had a body the, cam plus all of their dash cams. So, but and none they of the young cars down. at his car, so yeah. they should all be having footage. Yeah. Exactly. The, the cars all had dash cams. Yeah. So there should be a 360 degree view of what of happened. Every single angle. Every but none single of the angle. Youngstown police felt um, threatened Pelt. enough to right. shoot them. Right. None of the Youngstown, none of the Youngstown cops even pulled their guns out. And they there were sitting. There was more Youngstown I, cops there than there was Struthers. There was two that shot him. There was the two that shot him. Youngstown made it a point to distance themselves from that. Yep. They, they had, did. A, they had they a press sure statement that said we had, said, we had nothing, nothing to, do to do with this incident, more or less. Right? Yep. They were just there as backup and did nothing. And else. they're cops. Those are their brothers, and right. they are in a position to say that, that they Multiple know something times. was wrong. For a right. cop to do that to another cop. I feel like they said that because they know Struthers did well, something wrong. I wish they would just come for, forth, for sure. you know? Uh, I mean, where, where, where are these Youngstown cops who are there? Why, why don't you guys if leak If you're the, not pigs. If you're not pigs, re, leak the body cam, because you guys get access to it. Leak Please, the body cam. Tell the truth. Please. We want to see the dash cam. We want to see the body cam. We want to see every angle. That's why we have the spirit of the law for, for the for the body cams and the dash cams. We want to see the cameras. You, you guys could dislike this woman. You can dislike her family. That's fine. But do you want transparency and do you want justice? Because you want people getting away with murder. That's, that's right. That's the thing. Because if it ain't stopped, it's just going to keep happening. Keep, like everybody knew. Multiple people have gotten a hold of me and telling me what a bad cop this guy is, and they knew something bad was going to happen. This cop is a bad cop, and well, he's so got a record now, like this long. now he murdered somebody, and so is something going to be done about it so it doesn't happen again, or is he just going to keep doing it? He shot somebody six months I think ago. It, I think it's and, worse. Wait, he killed someone six months ago? No, no, man, him. he's they didn't alive die. still. Oh, he's still alive. Who, want, who's the guy? Who, who's the guy that was shot by 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 Tommy Shithead? I don't Shishiman. know his name. There was Tommy three unarmed Shiman. guys, and he shot one of them. I think it was a girl too, and one of them got shot. Yeah. One of them got shot. Yeah. Yep. Okay. They're running I on wish foot, that we could right? find. And, he, and it was proven unarmed. Yep. yep. He was unarmed and got shot and by this Tommy Shithead. And guy Shiman. is still yep. patrolling the streets. Right. So he shot one guy. Six months later, he killed your guy. And they told me at BCI that this investigation will take at least three months. Why? Just re so release all the cameras. Work, right. Hey, BCI, just release all the cameras. Let us see it. We don't need you it. to edit it. We need to see it. Right. Yep. We want to see if, like, if he supposedly shot at the cops, like this dude said in the video, he shot right at me, then he would absolutely have gunshot residue on his hands. He would have proof that he got shot at. Like, he would have proof on his body that he shot at a Was there, cop. now James was cremated, was there a gunshot residue test done on his hands? Uh, Let's we don't know. BCI wouldn't tell us. They oh, so BCI anything. won't tell you. I specifically were called to ask marks? them if they were going to make sure that they printed his hands for gunshot residue, and they said they cannot tell me that. 
what? You specifically asked them if they would test his hands for gunshot residue. They, they said they can't tell you because it's a big secret. Why is it a secret? Right. Because they should say, yes, that's part of protocol. If somebody shot at the yeah, cops, exactly. they should say, absolutely, we will test yeah. for that. But he said, We're, we, we can't tell you any of that. The best disinfectant is sunlight. There's no better disinfectant than putting a massive light on everything. And so now they're going to hide. So now can they just say, yeah, we got a gunshot residue and here it is. Right. Yeah. They could just manufacture yeah, it. That's right. what, exactly what they're going to do. Exactly. That's exactly what exactly. they're going to do. Because the BCI super cops are here to make sure that this woman does not get justice for her guy. To make sure that the grandmother of these, of these children does not get justice for James Sheets. That the, 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 the aunts and, and family members do not get justice. And they'll shut a city council meeting down in two and a half minutes and stall us at the door so that we cannot redress the government. And that's what you're dealing with. And this is across America. Everywhere. This is yeah. across yeah, America. Is. And, and but you know... I'm the problem, though. I came here with a camera and caused all these problems. Yeah, right. 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 They were ready to jump us the right. minute we walked up here. They were... Every single yeah. person... Was Christy didn't even make it inside the door. Well, no, we just got right here. I was just right here, and everybody was already here. Oh, so you, you got here at, six, at 7.05, and everybody's outside already? Yep, yep, everybody. I seen people leaving down there. I said, well, they look... I, I seen them, and I was like, they look like total a-holes like you could tell that the yeah, type they of person were mad. they were they like looked they like were they were mad and they were a-holes mm -hmm. and that they were just leaving you could tell like they were just haters yeah and so when we got up here we already had seen we seen that everything was already happening they had already not let you guys in and they already had shut the meeting down so i was yeah. like did i feel like i knew this was going to happen yeah exactly like i was hoping it wasn't going to happen but i, was I mean i can't believe God it happened that it i cannot believe they did like that this. just so blatant like that they don't want the truth out that's yeah. it, 100. Yeah. percent Like that proves they don't want to how be, bad they don't want this truth out. They don't want to be questioned at all. Right. They don't want to face scrutiny at all. Yeah, because they know they're not going to have the answers. They know that there's going to be no words to the questions that we have to ask. Well, I want to know. Yeah, there's they, nothing they want to stall could say. until everybody doesn't realize the fact that there's a man dead. Yeah. Right. Right. Or until they get their the, stories the wound all straight. Will soften. Right. And what an embarrassment. Right. Well, what about what are they going to say about the cop reaching into the car? What about him leaning his whole body his into the whole car? Body into what the, is that? Why was the purpose of that? I mean, I've never like seen if that before. Getting something out of the vehicle, gun. why not like open the whole door? Yeah, why reach exactly. your body in through the window? You ne and yeah. not to mention they're trained not to do that. You know, if he was such a horrible drug addict loser, he could have had drugs in that car and could have contaminated that cop. Right. He could have overdosed just by being in the car. Fentanyl. Literally. He could have literally overdosed just by being in that car. If he from was such a horrible drug addict. From the fentanyl that kills everybody. Exactly. Right. And they're trained not to put their bodies in vehicles and everything else. But after that, after you kill a man, it, you know, just do well, whatever you want. If that don't make it obvious, I don't know what does. <laughs> no, but if exactly. You, right. you inhale exactly. it. You can't overdose by... And thank God. What are you saying, Dan? Thank you God. cannot overdose by touching fentanyl. You only can, you can, if you get it up your nose or if you get it in your bloodstream, yes. You can, like, roll in fentanyl. Pharmaceutical companies spent millions of dollars to mix it with a certain gel to be absorbed through the skin. So basically, all these cops are having fucking panic, excuse me, panic attacks and saying no and, and sense, instead of overdosing. Dan, you don't even live close. You live a little, a few minutes away, right? Yeah, I live about 20 minutes away. Okay, so then what are you doing here? I saw you guys. I figured, you know what? Let's make some noise. Right. So, so, so then would you say that you just want justice? Absolutely. Who doesn't? So if it happened to your brother or your cousin or your, or your dad, would you want the cameras released? I would. I would. I would probably take it a step further and and use my Second Amendment right. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I'd lose. You'd lose your mind, huh? You'd lose your mind. Even if it was a complete stranger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how many, even how if he's many nobody people? to you. If he was nobody to me, I would want the truth, no matter what. Oh, I get how angry many? every time there's one of these these killings. Yeah. I get angry no matter what. Drug addicts you might know. I didn't know the George average Floyd. I didn't know any other America. person that got killed. How many by drug addicts do you know? Pick one of them, and imagine they made a couple mistakes, and they ran from the police. That's not a reason for somebody you know and love to die. Right. Period. You're or a stranger to die, period. Right. Just because you're a drug addict. So right. really, I think people should think about the fact of how many drug addicts do you know that suffer with some serious problems but are making good bad choices. But are still and just imagine people. if they got shot for dealing with what they're dealing with in life. Right. And well, he had no warrants. He didn't even have warrants anywhere. Like, he might have thought, in his head, he might have thought he had war a warrant somewhere. Yeah, I think Because of the bullshit... Uh, all the charges that a different county made up they made up charges like 100 percent. they 100 percent made up charges so he might have just thought that he had a 
a warrant for that and ran. Or just because he doesn't have a valid license. People run all the time just because they don't have a valid license. Cops don't give a shit. They just right. shot a guy in the back of the head for having a uh, expired registration on right. his car. Right. I got pulled over for my, wow. my factory GM hitch supposedly blocking my license plate. They made me get me and my seven kids out of the car. I have my five kids plus two of my neighbor kids. They made us all get out of the car, brought this dog around my kids, had to hold his mouth to bring him around my kids and everything. It was, and that was only a couple days after I told my kids that their dad was murdered by the police. I think it was yeah. the same day. Yeah. It well, was all ridiculous. I know is we can't stop until we get justice for these babies. We don't stop. Justice for these babies. That's important. We cannot tell them that yeah, he got they away with got it. got away with it. Right. Because you know? then what? Are they going to grow up and hate cops when, hmm. like, you know? Yes. They shouldn't realize that all cops are bad. They should realize, like, the reason they're here is supposed to be pro to protect and serve, not murder your family and harass. Like, well, that's, that's what not I what told them. For. I said, I don't want you to be afraid of all of cops. I said, so and that's some what I'm cops trying to are tell good. Them. Yeah. It's just, you know, this one's, yeah, some right. of them are bad. Yes. I'm not going to agree. I'm sorry. Cops are bad. Warn your children. Keep right. your children away from these filthy pigs. Right. Tell them that that's, that's the danger, that's the terror, <laughs> that's the person who will lie, cheat, rape, and kill you. The right. cops are the bad people in our country. Absolutely. And just make sure you tell your children. This woman can have her perspective. I'm not saying she doesn't have it. She's welcome to have it. From my perspective, teach your kids. These guys are pigs. They're the terror. They're the terrorists of our country. Right. That's yeah, my I position. Just didn't, because when she got pulled this, over, her son panicked and he freaked out. Yeah, he oh, so just, because, so just recently? Yeah, yeah, that's how come oh, I didn't to be afraid of yeah, all cops. I didn't, I, yeah, because it was I only, hate them. <laughs> I hate them. They're probably oh, waiting watching. for us to pull out. Yeah, they're watching us. On the they can do whatever they would like. Right. You know, now, now, Christy, we raised we raised over forty two hundred dollars for Christy. Yes. I think that was our last tally, pretty close. Mm -hmm. yep. So, so Christy now has the money to get a dash cam yep. and to get some home cameras. I actually have a link sent to me from News Now Houston. He sent me a link with a bunch of different cameras, body, uh, d different uh, car cameras and house cameras. So I'm gonna help Christy get these ordered from the money you guys provided to her. Thank you so much, we appreciate it. It, it was really a, an unbelievable evening the other night that we raised some money for her and her children. Seriously. And four grand, just so you know, with five kids and a, a, baby, in, a baby in the belly, there is, there is, it's just not gonna go far enough. So if you guys right. wanna continue to contribute to Christy, I will adjust the comment section here and I'll put her cash app, her Venmo and her PayPal in there. Any money that comes in for me, <laughs> for any of this broadcast, all money from this video, that people say, oh, you're making money, every dime that comes from this video I will send to Christy so that I can help her as she goes down the line with her so share the video we'll try to get more views on it raise more money and every dime that I make will go to her thank you thank okay you. Thank so you. any other parting words you guys want to say anything else I'd like I, to say go ahead I just want to say like for all the people on here who just think we're crazy and you know psycho cop haters that literally wasn't the case just you know one year ago my daughter came home from school with earrings that she made that said ACAB, and I didn't know what that meant. Oh, you didn't know what ACAB <laughs> meant? And she had to tell me it meant all cops are bad, and I sat there for... No, it means all cops are bastards. Oh, whatever. <laughs> that's, so, that's what it means. She probably didn't want to say that word to me. And so I had to sit there and tell her, like, all cops aren't bad. It's just some cops are bad. So, like, this... Us hating the cops now is because we've That's experienced hard. it firsthand that all cops are fucking bitches. Wait a minute. So before this, though, you, you were friends with cops and you backed the blue and you were like, cops right. are good? Yeah. Just, just one year ago. Just one year ago, right. you were like, cops are great. And just slowly, that was so that wasn't last year. That was 2020. And that she came home from school with those. And just since 2020, COVID and all that stuff is when we started learning that all cops are really bad and then this just proves that all cops are really bad because these two that just came out here acting like they were peacemakers aren't going to hold their brothers accountable they're not they're going to back them up so this happened to you and, and what do you want to say before we take off here i would just like to mention if and you can research this yourself i don't know the court it was but i believe if it was a supreme court decision that it is not in the duty of a police officer to protect and serve it is no longer in their duty to protect and serve and it begs the question then what the hell are they there for unless they're your enemy so you don't need to look that up that's the 1981 case of warren versus district of columbia and that's the 2005 case of um uh, of uh uh castle rock versus gonzalez where they said that the police do not have a duty to protect 
uh, uh, Jessica Gonzalez when her three children were murdered by her ex-lover, and then they went to court because she had a restraining order, and then two different cases, the 1980-81 case of Warren versus Columbia, and the 2005 case of, of uh, Gonzalez versus City of Castle Rock. So those are the two cases he's talking about. And if they're not there to protect and serve, yeah. what the hell are they there for? No, they've changed to law enforcement. They sign a peace officer's agreement right. and an and, and oath of office, but it, it's not to be law enforcement. It's to protect and serve as a peace officer. That's what they're. That's what they sign. So, so he has the question of why are we being taxed for police if we're not going to get any representation for protection? And then, Grandma, what do you want to say uh, in parting words here for everybody? We've raised uh, twenty-five bucks here for Christy. Thank you guys. Every dime that comes in here, I will give directly to her. I just want to say that. Um, if anybody has any ca any cameras, videos, please send them in so we can get justice for these little two boys because they are, they adored their dad. Their dad was his, everything to them, and that's the front thing on their mind all day long is their daddy. Everybody, my grandson sees, like I took him over my sisters, and everybody he sees, he tells them, my daddy, my daddy got, my daddy died. He got shot a whole bunch of times by the cops. So you so want, we just want justice. I just want justice. That's I want I want something um, to seriously be done. I want these I want him I want these two in prison yeah. where they can be somebody's bitch. Wow. wow. And then and I just <laughs> wanted <laughs> to, right. Let, 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 let me go down the line. Tina, okay. do you want to say anything? Tina's a shy one, guys. Do you want to I'm just I'm shy. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to put you on the spot. <laughs> and then you want to say one more thing um, here and then I'm going to go back I to I just Christy. wanted to say that my cousins are the Russell, Sean, Larry, Jimmy, hi guys, and Jerry you better watch out. Okay. Better okay. Watch out. And then with uh, Christy, uh, and then we'll, we'll 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 wrap it up and we'll say goodbye to all these nice folks who came. Thank to you guys, everybody, again. Thank you to everybody who has donated, and just even anybody who has said a prayer for us. That's it. Just pray that the truth comes out and we get justice. Nothing's ever going to bring him back, which isn't real yet to me. But just keep praying at least that justice is served. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, and then Dan, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. You oh, drove all the way across no, town, man. You, know, uh, hey, you drove man, 20 I'm just minutes. I'm here for them, and I'm here for justice. Here for justice. That's it. Period. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to leave my camera rolling as everybody takes off, just in case these uh, filthy animals have parked their cars How around. How dare they? Well, it, they may they have. Follow us on the motorcycle. <laughs> they're, they're following you. Are they following you now, Tina? They're stalking your boys? So do you want to tell them to leave your kids alone? Yeah, you can leave them alone. Or leave you can just come to my house and talk to me directly. So you want children no, to be left alone? No, they know alone. where I live. Yeah, so you just don't my want, kids. Just you don't want cops alone. screaming at your children in the park? Is that what you're saying? Right. So the cop who, who murdered his uncle shouldn't be screaming at the nephew? Probably not. Is that inappropriate? Yeah. That's inappropriate. Yeah. That's inappropriate. Yeah. And, your, and your children, you don't want them to be stalked? You don't want to be no. stalked by the pigs? No, um, I have two kids that are here every other week, and they also go to the same park with their cousin. They haven't been here since the cops been back on duty, but you know, if my kids are getting harassed, it's not gonna end well. Okay. That will not go well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, Christy. I I'm gonna I'm gonna leave my camera running and let the people just trickle off. But right. but you guys, uh, I I'm gonna be right here. Where you guys park at? You guys right we around here. Over there. Okay. okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive my car over here, and and I'm just gonna kind of tell you guys. I okay. I'm gonna pull right over there. Thank you. Great to meet you, man. Thank hey, it's you. my pleasure, brother. It's my pleasure. We're going to talk about Citizen Initiative. I sent you a text about it. I'm going to... We can change... Yeah, do you want to get a coffee here in a yeah, minute? Yeah, Let's get a coffee. You got my number, Dan. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to follow... I'm going to pull my van over here just to make sure that these guys don't get harassed because there's no limit to what these guys will do. Two and a half minute meeting, and they stopped me at the front door, you guys saw, and they stopped me at the back door, and then when I walked in, meeting adjourned. Oh, man, someone left their... Some, someone left their back of their car open here. I just shut the, I, I don't know who left their trunk open, but I don't want any, anybody for them to get robbed just because their back of their trunk is open. They may have forgot, so I just shut it. I mean, Struthers Police, Struthers Police, you guys look really bad, man. The City Council of Struthers, you guys look really bad. I mean, you guys look really bad. It looks horrific. And then, and then barring us from redressing, just, just. You know, listen, you can't talk to a whole family who's grieving and have it not emotionally affect you. I'm doing my best 
to show that I'm a rock and that I can't be swayed and I'm gonna stand strong in this. And sometimes I can't stop it. I can't stop the emotion. I just can't stop it. I'm listening to, to people. It, you guys are watching on camera. I'm literally standing in front of people who are weeping. <laughs> and I'm trying to put on a strong face. Like it doesn't affect me. I'm strong, I'm strong. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna make sure these folks don't get targeted because I have cameras all over the place. That was so intense, you have no idea. And that piece of shit hurt everybody's eardrums with the motorcycle. That was completely wrong. You, he should not, the cops should have cited him immediately. That was atrocious. He was allowed to hurt all of our ears. That was as loud as a New York subway. It was horrible. But if, if you're on the cop side and you're related to the pigs, well then you can do whatever you'd like. You were seeing it. Now the camera is showing, you're seeing it. I mean, and just so you guys know, you know, I'm sorry I wasn't early, but the, the map took me to the fire station. I had to go into the fire station and say, well, where is it? And then they said, it's over there. Then I got here, had to park, walk to the front door. That took a minute. Go to the back door. That took a minute. Then he stalled me for a minute. I'm gonna follow these folks. I got my, I've got my, I'm not gonna, okay, there's no license plate. So I'm gonna follow these folks. I got my dash cam rolling right here. I just wanna give them a little coverage because the only thing, the absolute only thing, the only thing that works in the United States of America is absolute and total transparency. Okay, okay. I thought that was a filthy pig behind me. So I just popped out just to let him know, I don't wanna be followed by you and I won't accept it. I won't accept you following me around. It's not gonna happen, buddy. That's over. The idea that these pigs can follow you around is over. You get your camera out, you walk right up to them and you put it right in their face and you say, leave me alone. You will not stalk me. You will not harass me. You will not follow me around. And the idea that if you go to a stop sign and you don't come to a full stop, gotcha, you broke the law. It's, it's so preposterous. It is so preposterous. And it's not just here. It's across every small town, every city. You, you saw in Toledo, they're trying to charge Aaron Collins, which now I really am gonna help Aaron Collins. Now I'm gonna go all the way down the line. I called the legal people who I'm working with, I called the team and I said, hey, you know, do we want to take this? You know, we got to put this together to make sure people can sit there and help this guy full time and really help him, help Aaron get through it. That's what it takes. It takes people who care. That's what it takes. This idea that the cops can just follow us around. The only cure for that is the camera. There is no other cure. There's no other remedy for it. You have to have a camera. If you don't have a camera, guys, how many people contact me and say, let me tell you my story. And I say, do you got a video? If you don't got a video, I can't help you. Because unless other people can see it, and now you guys are seeing that they hid the camera footage, that they're hiding the camera footage. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They're, they're releasing just one camera where you can't see anything, but there was 10 cameras on the scene. But we'll release this one and show, the cop freaked out, he said he had a gun. We don't see a gun in the shot, there's no gun. We see the cop bend into the car, put his whole body into the car. Where's the, where's the, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the shot of him having a gun? Where is that shot? Where is that? Where's that shot at? Where is it? Anybody? Where's the shot? I, I didn't I didn't I didn't see the shot of the gun. We're going to get our kids real quick. Okay. So we're gonna be pulling out of here. I just wanna let you know. I'm just gonna wait right here for you, okay? Thank I, you, man. I, yeah. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, dude. I don't want you guys to be targeted. I don't want you guys to be targeted.
I'm just gonna wait. I wanna make sure that they don't get hammered by, the, by these filthy animals. I saw. And she what, someone flipped you off and screamed at you? Yeah, the people on the three-wheeler. Why? I don't know. Cause uh, I think they that's why we a... just told her to fuck off. I thought they had a cop thing on their bike. Yeah, me and Christy are like, who, who did it? Who's doing it? Don't get don't get in any physical altercations with anybody. You can't. You can't. Oh, she she literally came right up on my porch and hit me. All I did was just put her in a headlock, and that's it. And you you, you got to have a camera on your front porch. I know. I live in a, a bunch of apartments too, so I haven't I put them up yet. Because I'm leaving on Friday. You're, you're, I'm moving on Saturday. Friday. Saturday. You're moving. Yeah. You're moving to another city. Yeah. Is that yeah. right? Same yeah. Massachusetts. Yep. You guys are moving to another state, huh? Getting out of here. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So you guys are moving. Because she went, came, a woman came up on your front porch and attacked you? Well, yeah. that's not why. We were moving before that. That's because, just why I don't have the, any cameras up or anything. Because the police anything. harassing her every time she leaves. And, I got, and, then. and then I got harassed by the same cops that made me and my kids get out of the car today. I mean, that other day. Same exact cop turned around and followed me. So I went into Circle K parking lot. And I come out after paying for my gas. And he's in Circle K parking lot just driving past my car. Yeah. See, it's even going to Salem. I'm really, I'm really getting scared. Yeah, of course you are. That's what dash cam You're being for. targeted by the state. Of course you're scared. And there's limited resources and no oversight, no checks and balances. If the cops get a hard on for you, that's it. Yeah, you're going to get screwed. I know. That's and, what's going to happen. I'm terrified. Right? Yeah. I'm terrified. You guys have to get cameras everywhere. Yeah, we are. You have to have a camera. You have, oh, that, someone just gave a $100 donation. That's going to go to you. Oh, that Every single dime thanks. that comes in that's on this super chat goes crazy. to you. Thank okay, that's so going to go straight to you. I'm not Seriously. keeping a penny of it. That's amazing. I could... Christy's cash app is Christy Baby XX5. And it's case sensitive. I was wrong. Oh, it is? It is case sensitive. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why people were trying to send you a cash app. I will drop it in the comment section as soon as I hang this up. Uh, I will put her cash app, her Venmo, and her PayPal. Any money that comes in on this, any money this video makes, I'm going to donate to Christy. That's just the way it's going to go. Thank you, guys. Because so I care much. so much that this is happening. This is such dog, this I know. Is such dog shit. And, and for that scumbag on the motorcycle to pull up, oh, you're getting paid for this. You're, you're not even, you're not getting paid for any of this. This is literally to get justice. Right. That's what this is right. for. Like you should want that. Right. Why wouldn't you want something? Like why wouldn't you want these bad people off the road? That's what I told him. I said this could be you tomorrow. That's you right. have no idea. Like this could absolutely be you tomorrow, and you're here acting like we're scum because my husband got murdered and we want justice for him. I said that could be you. That could be your son. That could be your dad tomorrow, and you're here acting like that. Yeah. Defending them. Yeah. And he probably just was defending him though, just so that they wouldn't mess with him. You know how so many people just get cop flags and everything just so that they don't get targeted, which is messed up. You shouldn't have to do that. Atrocious. Atrocious. Horrible. Atrocious. I'm sorry this is happening. Uh, Christy's Cash App is posted now, guys. If you guys want to donate to her, please make sure that you do any super chats that come in, as I did last time. I'll give directly to Christy. Yeah, I heard that they also have uh, like body cam necklaces and stuff too. So that's awesome, you know, for places that won't let you take your cameras in or you know stuff like that. That's a good idea. No, I'm gonna get all of that stuff. You have to. It's, and I, it's, have to, I have bad panic attacks so bad to where like I'll stop breathing and die. My you're having fear, bad panic attacks? Yeah, I have them really bad. So my biggest fear is for the cops to like assault me. I get deathly afraid every time they open my door and try to rip me out of the car. I'm so scared that they're going to like hold me down and I can't breathe. And they, they just think that I'm saying that, but I really can't breathe and I will literally die. I was on life support one time from just having a panic attack. And so, like, that's my biggest fear is the cops doing that to me. Sarah Page. Sarah breathe. Page goes through the same thing. Sarah Page in Ironton, Ohio, yeah. who, you know, we're going to file, we're going to help her file a federal civil rights lawsuit as well in Ironton. And we're going to help. I, seen, I think I've seen that when the cops are following her all around town. Yep. And she pulled over just because they were going to pull her over anyways. Yep. Yep. I've seen that. And so, so now we're going to look at a wrongful death lawsuit against these pigs for murdering James Sheets. And so... There is her cash app. Uh, she also has Venmo and PayPal. I will put all of them in the in the comments below. You guys will see those appear as soon as we hang up the live. 
I'm just staying on live until we make sure she gets home okay. I'll follow you all the way home. I don't care how far it is. I'm gonna have to stop and get gas here in a second. But, but I, I think you're a little ways away from here, but I, I will follow you home just because I don't want you to be tar. Just stop at the closest gas station. And uh, how you guys doing? How you doing, man? I'm chilly. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. Meet you. How you doing? My pleasure. What's up, yo? Baby, I, you don't like me calling baby Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look like baby dollar, Alex, though. You, you look yeah. just like him. You got, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys are so related, it's incredible. It's like a mini-me, dude. Go stand next to your dad. Let me get a shot of this. Let me get a shot of this. Ready? Do, do, they, do they look like their father and son? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, dude. No, sorry, you brother. Might, you might want to, but you look like me. You yeah. look just like dad, no, man. You, you look to. just like dad. Right. Identical. Oh, Devin, here's the one that got crossed by the cop. Give me hugs. Oh, so did the, the, the cop yell at you, Devin? Is that what happened? This is yeah. the one that won't play football because of it. So so you were at the park the other day, and the cop the same cop that murdered your uncle started screaming at you? Yeah. Why? Mom. I, I don't even know. You don't know why he yelled Honestly, at you? Honestly, I don't. You were at a park playing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the cop who murdered your uncle came up and started screaming at you? Yep. Wow. But why? What? I mean, there's, there's, there's no reason? They just did it? Nope. He just did it. He right. just did it, huh? Yeah. What, what did he say? What were you doing at the park? Just, what, just, I was just sitting there on my phone. You were sitting there on your phone in the park? Yeah. And a pig walks up to you, the same pig, Matt Haas, mm -hmm. and how does the conversation go? I... He walked up to me and I was, I was like, "Do you have a problem?" He was like, "Yeah, I do." And I was, so I just walked he walked away. up to you. Yeah, he walked up to me. So Matt Haas walked right up to you. Yeah. I mean, sadly, you have to go to the same pig shack where he works out with all of his buddies. Grandma's incensed. She's incensed. He goes to school with his son. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Oh, so you go to cool? You go to school with Matt Haas's son? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to meet him up. Oh, <laughs> you. But don't get in fist fights, dude. Don't don't go to physical violence. Listen, do it in the cage, do it in the ring. Don't do it on do it on the mat. Don't do it in public. You know, I like fighting myself, but you just got to do it in the proper area. So so so, what does the cop say when he walks up to you, though? I'm just curious. He, he just asked me if I had a problem. And... Wait, he just walks up to you. You're on your phone in a park, and he walks up and says, "Do you have a problem?" Yeah, because every everyone was there, and there was like some kids there doing bad stuff, and they automatically think, thought it was me. What were they doing? Drinking? Smoking weed? They were just smoking. They, they were, were like smoking? Vaping. Smoking? Vaping cigarettes? Yeah, vaping. vaping. Oh, using the vape pen? Yeah. That a lot of kids are using? Yeah. And so this is a reason to harass children now? Yeah, pretty much. Right. Right. So then you're sitting there, but you're not vaping. You're on your phone. Yeah. And he walks up to you and says, you have, a, you, have, you have a problem. And you say... I just say, do you have a problem? And he just <laughs> starts yelling at me. He started yelling at you? Yeah. Wow, the same guy that shot your uncle. Wow. Hey, Matt Haas, why don't you leave him alone? Why don't you leave him alone, Haas? Fucking Why don't you leave him alone? Why don't you go talk to a real man, Haas? Picking on a little boy. You should be ashamed of yourself, you fucking coward. I stood up to him. I'm not... What'd you say? How'd you stand up to him? I, st I stood up and I said, do you have a problem? And he just... I just walked away. I didn't... I didn't say anything to him. I was trying to be the bigger person. Right. Yeah. How do you feel about them shooting your uncle? Terrible. Terrible. And, and I've, I've known him since I was two. So, so tell me about your uncle. Did, was he a good guy to be around? Oh, yeah. For he, sure. He didn't have a personality problem. No. Dirt bikes, and you took the kids out and spent time. Yeah. Spent time with you guys, huh? Yeah. He was a good guy. Yeah. He had a drug problem, but he wasn't a bad dude. Yeah. Okay. Anything you want to say to anybody watching? Anything? Um, you want to tell the cop to leave you alone? Just leave me alone, yeah. honestly. Just leave me alone. You're a good boy. You don't get in Okay. I'm going to follow you, so um, let me know how, what we're going to do. Okay. I just got to go we buy a gas. We would just like hang out for a bit and make sure they don't come by her house. Sure, sure. Jenny, I, you're going to have to get some cameras, too. We all do. I know. You, all, you, you, you have to have cameras. Without cameras, you're not safe. Yeah, I've ever you. into my property under here. surveillance. I know. I mean, we don't have to come here, but... That's what we're... Okay. I've been trying to find her house out by where I live. lady just messaged me and said, um, My station just got the police body the cam video. Did you see it? Are you okay? Do you have any thoughts on the video? I haven't seen it yet, but I'll watch it after I'm done with my story. So I said, yeah, I've seen it. But it's only one video. And she said that she's going to... And I told her that we just tried to go to the Strother City Council meeting, and they literally wouldn't let us in and then adjourn the meeting before we ever got in there. 
and then she said she's going to send a letter asking them to explain why they wouldn't let us in the meeting. And then that was it. And then she said, what does the second video show? They're all two minutes, they said. All the meetings are two or three minutes, yeah, and they just adjourn them. 23 minutes. Right. Or 16 minutes. Right. Wow. Wow. Um, Everybody I'm got it before me. Multiple people messaged me. She said, how did they get it before you? Multiple people. They didn't even notify. They still haven't even notified me that it was him that died. Yeah. I had to call and find out myself. I had to literally beg the coroner to at least just let me know that those are the same tattoos. I knew it was him because he wasn't messaging me back, and I seen that it was his car. But Struthers still hasn't contacted me, not at all. Not even one time have they contacted me when I've been blowing their phone up, asking them about his vehicle that they have in Struthers now, because BCI told me that his vehicle was released to the Struthers Police Department. And so uh, he told me that it was at a mechanic shop in Struthers called Knuckle Busters, and that's it. Struthers hasn't called me. They won't tell me anything at all. And so people What, what about his car? What about his car? What's going to happen to his car? I don't know. They said that I have to prove next of kin to see it. I have to just jump through a bunch of hoops and proof of ownership and everything just to see the vehicle, just to get our belongings out of it. But his sister was able to go and see it, and she said there's not even one gunshot in the car. Every single gunshot went in his body, every single one of them. Wow. And somehow all the glass was out of the, like shot out of the car. But in that video that you see, they shot right through the window. No shots went through the glass. But so I don't understand how the glass is missing out of the vehicle now. Yeah. Unless they just shot him more after the video, which is what we already expected to happen. Well. <laughs> His, they won't release his wallet that has his ID and it has a picture of him on it. Don't you want that? Yeah, exactly. I want anything of his. Of course you do. And then what? the car has a value. Yeah. The car could be sold. Right. And that would give a value to you and your family. Right. Anything. Anything that would help. Right. As you get through this hard time, especially yeah. this hard time. They, they, he made sure to tell me that the car is not drivable. I'll have to get it towed because they wrecked it on every single angle of the vehicle. There's not one flat spot on it. Oh, but, but James was ramming them. Right. But yeah. in the video, you could see that the front of his vehicle, it didn't look damaged. But you've seen them hit him in the video. You know? So on this super chat, guys, we're, we're at 150 bucks or a little more. Thanks, News Now. Appreciate you guys uh, contributing. Every single dime that comes in, I'm going to give directly to Christy, just like I did the other day. And we're, we're, any money that comes in for her is going to go to her. All the all the revenue from this video is going to go to Christy as well. Thank you. You know, so that there's going to be an ongoing little drip of cash coming in from from us at right. all times. And there has been a couple more people donating too, like that have watched the other video. So thank you guys if you're watching. Thank so you so much. We're 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 about forty five hundred bucks so far that we've raised. Maybe a little bit more. Yep. Almost five grand that we've raised. Um, that she has a PayPal as well, so uh, post that PayPal down there too if you guys have it. Okay. Um, if not, I will put. What is that PayPal? Oh, he has. He just posted it. Okay, um, that's her PayPal. It's just my first and last name, Christy Roan. Christy Roan, C H R I S T Y R H O N. Christy Roan. R O H N. Yep. That's her. That's her PayPal. And what's your Venmo? It is Christy the best dash Roan. R O H N. Christy the best. The best. Christy the best dash Roan. Yep. C H R I S T Y. T Christy T H E B E S T dash R O H N. Christy the best dash Roan. And that's her PayPal Cash App and her Venmo. All proceeds go to Christy. So that's just the way we have to do it. She has too many kids to not try to help her the best that we possibly can as a as a community of people for justice who care. So Thank so you. okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna g I gotta get gas. My car is gonna run out of gas any minute. <sighs> stressful. Stressful. Very stressful. Yeah, unfortunately around you, I seem to cry a lot. I know. <laughs> so. Same. <laughs> but that's your fault, right? You, yeah. you, it's all your fault. Right. You're, you're the one that brought this pain. Crying. Don't Don't show pain. Right. You're the problem expressing pain. Right. Why would you express pain? When my husband just got shot that I've been with since I was 15. Right. You, they you, murdered. You shouldn't, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't feel anything. Right. Because I'm supposed to be Just like them wife. and have no soul. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to follow you. I want to get gas, uh, uh, if that's all right. Nice to meet you. Hey, brother, you can reach out to me anytime. Delete laws at Gmail. You send me an email, I will come and I will help you, dude. I will not let a young man get railroaded. 
You know, Thank you. The reason I'm the way I am is because they had they treated me when I was your age. And there was only one good cop named Greg Russell in my hometown who was very decent and loving to me, but all the other pigs were just pigs. All right, so if you have any problems, delete laws at Gmail, or you can get my cell phone number and I'll help you. Right. If they ever bully you, you, t you call me. All right? Thank you. Got your back. All right. All right, big man. You guys pop ahead of me, Christy, and I'm going to follow you, okay? Okay. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll, I'll text you. Okay. I'm going to make sure she gets home. It really is the least that we can do. So now we've raised for Christy. However much is here, 157. You guys will see from me a zelly that goes from Christy, from me to Christy. You'll, you'll see it. I'll post it in community. Bye. I'll text bye. you, okay? Thank you. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks. So, yeah, any monies that come in are going to have to be given to Christy. That's just the way it is. I got to get gas. Got to get gas. The only thing that saves you in today's society is a camera. And so even for the bootlickers who they make a living by using my name, that's okay. You can make a living by using my name. I know at least one of you is being sued. But don't you think that people should get to see the body cam footage, the dash cam footage? Shouldn't we all get to see that? Shouldn't we all get to see it? Shouldn't every everybody get to see it. Isn't that how it should go? Shouldn't everybody get to see the, the, the video cameras? I mean, isn't that the spirit of the law, the reason why we have them? I mean, you guys saw how those people behaved. You saw the, the guy on the Harlem cop sucking. He was just cop sucking. He just was cop. He there put his Harley on and then started revving the engine like an animal, like, and then wanted to fight me over what? What do you want to fight me over, bro? I don't know you. I don't know you. But I don't understand. Why do you want to fight me? I don't know you, man. The guy who wanted to fight me? For what? What I do? Why do you want to fight me? I'm not sure why the guy wanted to fight me. If the guy can articulate why he wanted to fight me, I'd love to know. What what I do to you? I didn't do anything. I just came here with a camera. I came here with a camera and a crowd. And before I got here, she, this was the same kind of thing that was going on with Sarah Page. This woman had talked to me on the phone for hours and told me how she's trying to get justice for her guy and no one's paying attention. The news organizations are not covering the story. The police won't even tell her it's her guy that's dead. She knows it's him. They, she saw the car. She knew it was him. We get this system here where if we, if you don't stop, thanks, smoking auditor, if you don't stop at a stop sign, come to a full stop at a stop sign and there's some pig hiding, well, then you are a criminal. And then the cops get to go and get in your car and search you and look all through your stuff. Why? Oh, you didn't come to a 100% stop at the stop sign, but there was nobody around. That's the law, though. And we have these people who are bootlickers. They're like, oh, you broke the law. Over the line, dude. Over the line. Market zero. Market zero. Over the line. That's the society we want to live in. And, the, and you saw the knuckle draggers who are these pigs. You saw it. You can see it. Did they offer equal protection under the law when that guy tried to blow our eardrums out? Where he pulled in front of us? I'm going to go down and file a complaint is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say I want the man cited. And let's see. And if they don't cite the man, then maybe I can sue them. Because you have to give me equal protection. My ear still is messed up. My ear is still popping from that motorcycle. It's still popping in and out of existence. I'm not kidding. I wish I was just making it up, but I'm, I'm really serious. I don't understand how the guy could pull in front of us and turn on his motorcycle and then just rev the engine. I don't understand how that's a legal thing. The guy literally hurt my ear. So I, I guess I'm just supposed to just take that. I'm supposed to just take it. I'm supposed to just have to take that amount of abuse. I would love to become a dad, man. I got I to gotta find a... 
I gotta find a chick who wants to live this life with me, you know? It's hard, man. I, I haven't dated this year in 2022. And as far as personal, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's tough. It is tough for me. It really is. Because, you know, in LA, when I'm single and wheeling, you know, I can, I can get a date, you know? And uh, now that I'm living this life, I haven't been on a single date in 2022, not one. Uh, what, well, I mean, that's, and by the way, I did keep track of that the other night. It, that's not entirely true. I had a, a tiny relationship going in January with uh, someone in Tucson and she, you know, we ended that, but that was the last time I, I felt a woman's touch. So, you know, it is what it is, dude. But, but you know, I'm also in my forties and, and uh, you know, you know, if I'm going to be with someone, it's going to be to have kids. And so you have to look at someone who's 30, you know, someone in that age range. So it is what it is. I don't want to talk about myself. I'm just, it is what it is. Someone asked and I'm feeling pretty emotional. So it was just, I just say it out loud. But this was a tough one. This was a tough one to, to be a part of this today. This was hard. This was really hard. You know, they shut down the city council meeting before we even got going. They, they kicked us, they kicked us all out. They barred us at the doors and then they made us walk around. They stalled us long enough to get in and out of there within two minutes and 30 seconds. I was inside of that place at 7.03 and they said meeting adjourned. I heard them say it, that was the last thing I heard. Meetings adjourned and then they all start to stand up. I mean, I thought everybody's just getting settled. <laughs> what a joke. I mean, what a joke. What an absolute joke that was. just pathetic. I'm following Christy home. She lives a little bit of ways here, but I'm going to get some gasoline. And I'd like to, uh, to thank my friend David who, uh, sent me a, a, a little bit of gas. I appreciate that, David. I'm still using that Apple, uh, pay that you sent me for uh, gasoline. So thank you, David. Big thanks. Big thanks to Danny. Thank you, Danny and David. I really appreciate you guys' support as we've gone down. Cause as you guys have known, Number one, I'm giving away the trifolds for free and more people are getting them for free than buying them. And I, all the money that I'm making right now through my YouTube, I'm giving to Christy because, because she, she, I don't have five children. <laughs> the law of necessity would dictate that she needs it more than I do. You know, she needs it. She needs help. And so uh, David and Danny who've been contributors and, and Alan, thank you, Alan. Thank you guys who've contributed to what I'm doing. Uh, because I have to just, I have to help people. I have to help this woman. She needs help. She needs help. I'm not sure if she knew I had to stop at a gas station, but I just passed one. So I'm waiting for that. Yeah, my ears, now this one's popping in and out of existence. When you get that cranking in your ears, it, it, it pops. My ears definitely are crinkling. I mean, that was so loud. The guy revved the motorcycle behind us just to be a total jerk. You know, that's my family, he said. Your family murdered somebody, brother. What are you mad at me about? Your family murdered people. Your family did that. I didn't do that. I didn't kill people. Hopefully this has the Apple Pay thing on it. I hope it's got the Apple Pay thing on it. Tough guys, today was a tough one to be honest with you. Today was tough. But there's nothing I can do about it. It's not gonna get easier, it's gonna get harder. Yeah, I, I still got to I guess this does, I'll have to take it inside to do the Apple Pay. Let me run it inside the house here. Let me, let me run it inside. Let me see if I can do my Apple Pay from inside here real quick. What pump number is that? That's number two? Yeah. Is that number two? Yeah. Okay. There you go, bud. 
There you go. Thank you. Thank you. You're more than you're Thank more than you. welcome. You're more than welcome. <laughs> Took me in a circle. I don't know why. When I put it in my mask, it took me in a big circle. <laughs> I was like, he's gonna run out of gas before we do this. No, I just, I, I, I know. I, I said I wonder if she forgot. I'm gonna get some water. I'm dying for some water. This is the last place I ever seen JJ. Literally, like I seen him here. And that was the last time I ever seen him. JJ, last time, yeah. last time I ever saw him was right here. Yeah, he was following me. I picked my boys up from him, and then he was like following me around just to like mess with me, you know? Yeah. And so this was the last Can I get a, can I fill it up on pump too? Pump too, sure. You want to leave it for Apple Pay? Oh. How would I. Yeah. You know roughly about how much you want to get? Uh, 70 bucks. Okay, I'll do you then? Yeah. I'll set you for 70. If it doesn't take the full 70, you're not going to see a refund on your card. What you're going to see is a reverse in that amount. Do you need me to scan this somewhere? So if you only pump like 65, it'll just change the amount from 70 to 65. There it is. Okay, that's cool. Thanks. Yeah, I'm dead ass out of gas. Thank you. How you doing? So you guys are seeing it, man. You're, you're, you know, I, I, you know, I, I left Los Angeles and I said I'm going to travel the country, and I'm going to show that no matter where you go in this country, it's a corrupt, tyrannical. This is not the rule of law. You guys are not witnessing a rule of law structure of government. Which, by the way, the talk earlier was one of the best I've ever done regarding rule of law. The best uh, uh, analogies, the best comparisons I've ever done was on the video I made earlier where we discussed rule of law. It was the best video I've ever made because I, I equated rule of law with the Bible and how the Bible is a social contract. So you guys are not witnessing rule of law here. This is a tyrannical police state. This is not rule of law. So if you don't like this system, you're not, you're not saying, oh, I'm against rule of law. You're saying I'm against a tyrannical police state where the government officials are not accountable to the people. This is not the rule of law. He is tweaking. Who's, who's, hey. hey buddy, how you doing? I got money for you, brother. <laughs> I got you gas money, buddy. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, man? Who are you? Gust. Gust? Why, yeah. are, you, why are you coming to, to pay for my gas? Why would you do that? Because I'm a human being. This guy's taking money out of his wallet and giving it to me. That's a donation. Thank you, dude. Where's that, Christy at? That's plenty. That's plenty. Thank you. She's in the car. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Here, give her the rest. Give her the rest? Okay. Now he just gave me this other wad of cash to give to Christy. Well. And he gave me another dollar to give to Christy. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because it's the right thing to do. I mean, so, so isn't the tyranny coming from me coming with this camera? I've been dealing with tyranny from every angle. Trust me. I, I have to worry. I have to tiptoe because, you know, keep the camera up high, but, you know... I gotta worry, you know. Of course. That they'll blow my brains out. Christy, and say this is from the gentleman right here. Yeah, why don't you why don't you give this to her yourself, brother? He wanted to donate to you. I, I gave him gas. Thank you so much. I, I don't. Thank you so 
so much. I donated. Seriously, I, I appreciate it. I did your cash app the other night, too. Oh, you did? Yeah. Thank you so much. That's wow. awesome. Wow, no problem. Wow, dude. Thank you, man. You're awesome. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, dude. Thank my pleasure. So and uh, uh, send me an email. I'm going to send you all my digital products. Uh, I'll just send them to you in an email. That's all I can do back. So thank you. All right, brother. Thank, thank you. you. Good meeting you. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Yes. Wow. Uh, let me say something. Let me say just just so you know, real quick. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, okay. So you have a okay. You got it. Okay. When I yelled, when I went past you guys and you guys were at the city hall thing, that was yeah. me. I yelled. I was in my chili. work van. I was yeah. like yeah. chili, and I beat the horn. Oh, and but the I couldn't. Van? But I could. Yeah. But I we don't stop. I we don't stop. I couldn't pull in because of this. Right. Because so. you got a concealed carry. Yeah. We don't stop, brother. We don't stop. All right, brother. All right. We don't Thank stop. You know so much. Wow. Wow. You're loved, Christy. They're doing it for you. Hey, how you doing? They're doing it for her. Okay, I'm going to follow you, Christy, so don't lose me. You guys are literally seeing it. The, the, this town is, is going to end up being similar to Ironton. Um, if you don't have, want to follow us back, you don't have to. No, I want, I want to. Okay. No, what are you talking about? You don't I'm have a... Saying, you you, tomorrow, to tomorrow, I'm going to ensure you have a dash cam. Tomorrow, before okay. I... Yeah, I was just looking up a couple different ones that somebody suggested to me. Uh, uh, David from uh, News Now Houston sent me a list of dash cams. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm, he sent me a dash cam. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send to you. But I'm gonna follow you because I don't want, I don't. Okay. Want, they're, 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 they're ruthless. Listen, they're ruthless. They don't care about you. They don't care. I know. So I'm gonna follow you. Thank you. You're welcome. They're ruthless. There's no end to what these people will do. There's, there's no limit to what they will do. They will cheat, they will lie, they will steal. They will do anything to hurt society and to hurt people. I mean, that guy just came out of nowhere with his wallet open to give. It is just so humbling, you know that? Realizing that, that, that the only way that you make your way, you know, I'm used to doing a job for for someone and then delivering a product and that's how I make money, you know. But nope, nope. You guys make sure you hit your like button, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe right now, please, if you would, hit the like button and uh, all proceeds for this video are going to Christy Roan. And I don't know if they'll even show this, I don't even, I don't even know if they'll let us monetize this video because of all of the commotion and the screaming, yelling. YouTube will demonetize it, I'm sure. They'll send me a notice that says your your video's not good for ad ratings is what they'll say. Funny, that's funny. Then how come you know 700, 800 people were watching at one time? If it's no good for ad revenue, then how come so many hundreds of people are watching? Why is that? How come that is? So I'll, I'll try to keep a light on as we drive because she lives uh, about 20 or 30 minutes away, and I'm just gonna follow her and make sure that she doesn't get ganked on the way. It's worth it. It's worth it. That's why people donate gas money to me. That's why people donate. That's why they do it. You know, and, and you guys want to hear something really ironic? You know, we raised so much money for Christy and then I got a, a, a cash app for a hundred bucks and it said Christy Roan on it. And so I was going to send that to her. And then Rochelle called me and said, listen, that says Christy Roan on it, but the last name on it is also Roan. That's my aunt who wanted to donate money to you, Chili. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. You know, this woman is going through hell and the family's pulling money out of their pocket and donating to me, which is just, you know, talk about humble pie. Here's a nice big piece of it. Why don't you eat it? And that's exactly what I experienced. You know, uh, and I said this the other day and I'll say it again because I'm not ashamed of, 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 of emotion. But the other day when you guys were all so kind and you, you raised over $4,200 for this woman and now we're coming up on the $5,000 mark here pretty quick. You know, when we got off the live the other day, I had held back because, you know, every dollar that people, you know, Benjamin given a dollar. I said, if you don't have any money, please give a dollar. And then Benjamin puts a dollar in. What you guys don't know is that when that dollar came in and I said, if you don't have any money and you're living on a fixed income, please just send in a dollar or $2 or $5, please just send it in. And then Benjamin sent in a dollar. Let me tell you something, a lump hit my throat <laughs> like I had swallowed a quarter 
when that dollar bill came in, just that one single dollar for Christy, <laughs> it was like, it was like I had a quarter stuck right here. The tears were stuck behind my, behind my eyes. And uh, when we hung up that live, as soon as we hung up, it took maybe, it took maybe five seconds, five, four, three, and then I just tell you, man, I just put my hands in my face and I just sat there and I just sobbed. I just sat there and sobbed for maybe 10 or 20 seconds and got the lump out of my throat because it was, it was all jacked up for tears. And I finally got that lump out. And as soon as I got the lump out, I was able to stop crying for a second. But when you're raising thousands of dollars for a family and you know it's a game changer for them and that you know you had a small part in contributing to that, there's another $1.99 that's gonna go to Christy. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, I appreciate that, Michael. Thank you, brother. Really appreciate that, man. Super grateful, man, super grateful. Yeah, I'll tell you, it was, it was hard because I had the two women sitting there with me, you know, and, and I got an ego the size of Manhattan. So, you know, I have this great big ego so, <laughs> you know, it was, it, it, it was just in the moment, you know, and no cameras were rolling and it was just me and Christy and Rochelle and uh, it was real, man. There's nothing, you know, nobody saw it and I'll, I'll tell you guys about it because I'll, I'll also tell you that uh, I got a really funny story and you guys will never know, but, but the, the, you would never know this, but I'm not sure if you know this or not, but I don't go anywhere without my gun ever I don't ever go anywhere I get too many death threats people threatening to kill me for me not to go anywhere without my gun and so I was at the Airbnb that I'm staying at here in uh, in the Youngstown area and and this the guy who uh, who who owns the Airbnb he he's got a I don't want to go into detail because I told him I would I, I don't care and I would never in any way shine a negative light on him and this is not a negative light on him the dude who who i rent the airbnb from is so dope such a cool dude this is not a reflection on him at all i want you guys to know that so anyway the point is though is he just got his he just got his uh, airbnb going and so so he was you know he's he's trying to expand his life expand his business and he doesn't he doesn't he didn't realize the kind of pressure that i live under and uh I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. And so what happened was one of his buddies who had been used to, to using the house that I'm, that I'm renting for the, for the short time that I'm here in Youngstown, he was used to just walking into that house and going to the bathroom. Instead of going into his friend's house, he's going to go into the, their guest house and go to the bathroom. But the screen door, the screen door slams when you come into the house that I'm staying in, the one that I rented through the donors who have donated money to me and bought products from my store, um, I rented an Airbnb. And so I'm in the, the computer room and I'm kind of upset that my TV is broken and I'm just reeling because I have to replace the flat screen now. And so I'm looking at it, but I'm about to get in the shower and I told you I don't go, to, I, I don't go from room to room without my gun. And so, 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 so the next thing I know, I'm in the computer room where my computer's set up, I'm whacking the TV, trying to get it to work, and I hear the screen door slam. Someone has just entered into my domicile. And I go, holy shit, so it happens now. You know, in my head, I'm like, okay, it's going down. I, I mean, I got my gun, I whip it out right there, come around the, the, the corner of the fridge, I'm completely naked because I'm about to get in the shower. I don't have a stitch of clothing on. And a guy comes around the corner, and when he comes around the corner, he meets the tip of my 44 right at his head. And I, and I said, you know, what the hell are you doing in here? Get the hell out of here right now. And, and he's, he, he's shocked. He has no idea why this is going on. And I say to him, I tell you now, turn around and leave the way you came or I'm going to blow your head off get out of here and then he says this as he's running out the door he says he says oh man I forgot they rented it out and I go I hear his words as my heart 
my heart is in total panic because someone has just entered into my domicile and I don't know anybody here. So nobody should be coming into my house. And so he meets the end of my 44. And then when he leaves, he says those words. And so then after I, I, I realized that this is just the guy from next door, I remember, oh, I'd seen this guy earlier. I'd seen him earlier. And so then I went, oh, I, I immediately ran out the door and chased him down. And I said, I said, oh my God, you know, I, I had to go put shorts on. I literally was completely naked. And then I chased him down and I said, dude, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. And he was, he was smoking a cigarette. He was smoking a cigarette and drinking a beer. <laughs> and I said to him, man, I am so sorry, dude. I said, I actually realized by the time you were leaving that I'd seen you over here already earlier today. But when I heard the screen door slam, my stomach jumped because I didn't know who was coming in the door. And, uh, and then by the time I had the gun pointed and I was screaming, get the hell out of here, you know, um, I wasn't looking at your shirt. I was only looking at the guy in front of me. And then I realized by his shirt and by his words. And so then, you know, I thought about that for a minute and that shouldn't be the reaction from 95% of homes in America. If someone walks in your house accidentally, you shouldn't have the tip of a gun pointing at them immediately. But, uh, but I did but I did just because I'm being followed and all these weird things are going on. So, so yeah, that's just, you know, and it's funny because I haven't had a chance to tell that story to anybody because I, I don't want the guy who I'm renting from to think that I'm disparaging him at all because the guy is so cool. You have no idea. Like I'm so lucky to have met this individual and I feel so blessed that I was able to meet someone that's so dope and that would take their time to spend with me. The guy went out and got me. The big thing here in Youngstown is peppers and oil. Uh, the food here is peppers and oil. That's what the food is based on. Uh, and so they have a lot of great restaurants here. And the guy who I'm renting the Airbnb from the other night, he brought me over peppers and oil. So just a, an amazing dude, you know. Um, and I'm not gonna share anything else about him because I don't want him to be targeted by, by crazy people. So, you know, it, but <laughs> imagine walking into a house and when you walk in there to go to the bathroom and this is what you've done regularly when you go to your buddy's house and there's a naked man <laughs> with a huge 44 pointing at you, screaming at you to get the hell out of here. You know, his reaction was one of bewilderment. It wasn't fear at all. It was, what, what, you, what? <laughs> you should have seen it. You should have seen it. It was just crazy. Um, so, yeah. So if you guys don't have a dash cam yet, I'm gonna find a dash cam sponsor here pretty soon. My mouth's a little dry, could use some water. But what did you guys think of that interaction today as far as the city council just shutting down all transparency? What'd you guys think of that? I mean, you know, let me know what you guys thought in the comments because I'm just curious as to what other people thought when they saw that go down. You know, pretty pathetic, two and a half minute meeting. Two and a half minute meeting. You know, that's just, that's just crazy. Yeah, and then I got another channel, guys. Would everybody please subscribe to the other channel? It's called Ninja and Chili. Uh, if you guys will put the link for that in there, the, 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 the name of the new channel is called Ninja and Chili. And there's an and symbol. N-I-N-G-A and then the letter, the and symbol and then C-H-I-L-L-E. Ninja and Chili. Uh, if you guys will take a look at that, that would be amazing. Then we got a cop over here. Yeah, I got a new channel. If you guys would all check out that new channel with uh, Ninja, Ninja and I have partnered on a channel so that um, in the event that anything happens to this channel and also so that we can break down some of these videos into 10 minute videos like Ninja does so well. And Ninja is one passionate dude. And I've been watching his videos for a while now and I wanted to start a new backup channel anyway but I don't have time to run two channels, whereas Ninja is incredible at what he does. And so I partnered with him on a new channel. And uh, if someone would post that link in there, Ninja and Chili, C-H-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And that's the name of the new channel that I started with uh, with Ninja. So you guys can take a look at that. And that's, that's gonna be pretty cool because uh, Ninja is gonna break down some of the videos that we do that are so long and then add his spin and his conjecture and then you guys will be able to see a different perspective on, on what we're doing here, you know? And by the way, you know, thank you. 
thank you guys for coming and being a part of this and and making sure that I'm safe and that if I get arrested that people will get me out you know because because they, they do want to arrest me at all times you know I go any place I go they want to arrest me I mean they tried to stop me from bringing my camera in today and that and then they lectured me long enough to get the meeting to end that was just horrible just horrible it really really was Thank you. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, I'm so sorry. Let me make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, to my new channel, uh, Ninja and Chili. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and News Now Ninja as well. Make sure you go over there to subscribe to News Now Ninja. N News Now Ninja is my new partner in this new channel. Uh, something I was going to do with different other people, uh, but eventually I just found my, my best match for a partnership to do a channel. And, and so News Now is doing that. He's, uh, he's the ninja in the chili. <laughs> he's the ninja in the chili. How many, how many trolls did we have in here today? How many trolls did we have in here today? How many trolls? Can you guys tell me? Uh, news, it's ninja and chili just like that. And then uh, News Now Ninja is my partner in that. And I'm his partner in that. And so how many trolls were in here today? How many bootlickers came through and were like, why are you harassing these cops? How many, how many, how many was it? 38 trolls. <laughs> 38 trolls were in here, huh? Is that what someone said? That's funny. It's chili. It's ninja and chili. Ninja and chili. Oh, you counted two, Tina? You, you counted two? Yeah. I'm a big fan of News Now Ninja. By the way, his editing skills and his proficiency in what he does is just so good. And if that's a cop coming in behind me, I'm going to let him know in no uncertain terms. See, I think that's a cop behind me. I'm pretty sure that is. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure that's a cop. Just right behind me. Yeah, right over there. So I got a cop behind me. So give me a second here. Let me focus. He's going over to the other lane. Okay. It looks like he's breaking off. He's, he's hitting the exit. He's hitting the exit. Okay. Well, that makes me feel better. I don't want to be followed around by a pig. It's not exactly my the highlight of my life is being trailed by a piggy. That's not what I want. So I got a light right here. There that is. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. There we go. Got a little bit of a light there. So you guys can see what I'm doing here as I drive. But um, yeah, we're uh, we're living in a tyrannical. This. So just so you guys know, the 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 talk that I gave earlier, where I talked about rules, and I and I and I showed that the social contract, any set of rules that you agree to be governed under, and that includes the Bible. If you agree to adhere to the Ten Commandments then you are adhering to a rule of law. Now, you may be adhering to a rule of God's law, but you're still adhering to a groupthink rule of organization or a rule of law. And the, the, the lecture I gave earlier was one of the best. It was one of the best truly, because I've been trying to articulate this the best that I can, and I think I was finally able to put it into a, a context that you guys could all understand. And so, I highly recommend that you guys take a look at that at the video that I did earlier, and this video is coming up on, are we coming up on three hours? I can't see. Let's put my glasses on real quick and see what that says. Yeah, no, it's just two and a half, two hours and 20 minutes, I guess you could say. Um, and then that's the reason I'm doing the backup channel because, because with News Now Ninja, he is so good and so proficient at cutting things together that um, now with News Now Ninja working as a partner, in this new channel, then what this allows us to do is to take videos like this one that there was some real 
you know, action-packed moments in here and then and then spread those moments on another channel. And then I think that Yunez in Dallas is going to start to do some clips as well. So that'll be something to look forward to as we move forward with the with with transparency. And then also, you know, Chuck, Chuck P, who's one of the moderators in here, has been working so hard. And and you know, I typically have a little bit of a money drip I give to people who participate, but the people lately haven't gotten anything because I've been giving all the money to the victim of the of the murder. And it has to be done. You know, we got to struggle here for this next little second, and then after that, you know, we'll get back on top. Uh, at least on top enough to, to be able to proceed down the road. And so, you know, everybody subscribes over there to uh, to Ninja and Chili. I would really appreciate it. And now, just so you know, once I take off my glasses, I cannot see any of the comments. I can't see any of the words. It's just a blur to me. I just can't see any of it. So I'm driving out to where, to where Christy Roan lives just so that she would have a trail and there's a dash cam and a back cam and then my, my phone is a cam and just make sure you guys hit the like button make sure you subscribe and that's all we can do try to raise as much money any super chats that come in i'm sending to christy any money that comes in through paypal cash app venmo in my account or her account is going to go to christy today and that's what we're going to do and that's just the way it has to go so you know i'm grateful i'm grateful to the people who donate thank you thank you so you know, and then you know, let's see some of these. Uh, let's see some of these um, these channels that make a living using my name. You know, why don't you guys do a fundraiser for Christy Roan? Why don't you do a fundraiser for her? Why don't you guys put some money together for this for this woman with five children and and a bun in the oven? Someone corrected me the other day. I said a baby in the bun. I said a ba a bun in the belly. I said a bunch of different things. But someone wrote me in uh, a comment and they were just impassionate about it, and they said. It is not that, it is not this, it's a bun in the oven. And so I said, okay, I'll make sure I say it properly. <laughs> I guess you could say it any way you want it. I say a bun in the oven, but you can say it however you'd like. <laughs> you can say it any which way you want. So, but I try to make sure I, I color within the lines at some level. Quite a ride, guys quite a ride quite a ride there you go now I can see your comments and this this light will will die pretty soon I only have so much juice with this light and it's a one of those lights you plug in it's only meant to give you a little bit of light and so it does but I do appreciate you guys coming thanks for sticking along for the ride I don't I don't want to be alone I don't want to be afraid and whether you like it or not, you know, you're you're gonna face you know all kinds of, of of pitfalls as we go down this journey. You're gonna face all kinds of pitfalls, and so, you know, eventually we're gonna get there. I, I promise you, eventually we're gonna get to a place where transparency reigns. You know, and uh, I do have another light. There it is. I found it just now. Bang! There it is. Here's the other light I have. So let me plug in this other light too, so that we have a backup light here. Oh shit! Whoops! <laughs> I guess the knee driving wasn't doing so good there. Let me turn on my automatic steering here. There we go. Now I got the auto steer on. That'll make it so it makes it easier for me. And now you know, just because this channel has become so popular, I wouldn't be surprised if the Ohio State Legislature starts to create a no streaming law that you can't stream and drive. Even though you guys have seen that my my, my little self-driving van here makes it so that I can easily stream and drive, but because it we take on the powers that be, well then they're gonna go, no, you can't because you take on the powers that be. And that's that's what's gonna happen here pretty quick. Is that a state vehicle? I can't tell. There it is. There it is. Okay, I'll put it on this side so it's over by the light. Just so you guys can see what's going on as I drive down the road. How many people saw the last video that I made that was called, uh, let's talk about the social contract. Has anybody seen that video? That's easily one of the best videos that, I, that I've been able to 
to make um, that that taught the social contract that taught the social contract man I'm so grateful you know still 400 people plus in the room I'm so Shauna how you doing hun Shauna by the way guys you know we're gonna do a fundraiser one day for Shauna Shauna puts in so many hours of work you have no idea she's never been paid a dime I, th I think I sent her 50 bucks one time you know when we were when we got above a thousand bucks I sent her 50 you know but we you know I I, I I hover right around a grand in the bank account so you know Shauna is overworked and not paid <laughs> and so is uh, some of those people in solving Ironton I stopped by the gilded the other day just to say hello and uh, you know I tried to call a guy today who'd sent us an email and said he had a video and I tried to reach um, I tried to reach him but I went to his voicemail twice and I'm still trying to reach him Shauna and then anybody who doesn't have their order make sure you email Shauna at um, because remember we had two we had we I don't know if it's a full two months but we had two months of records thanks for becoming a member I appreciate it and um, we had two months of records just disappear off the website so you know it is it is what it is you know we had two months of records you know and that's that's just crazy but that's exactly what happened and so you know if you didn't get your trifold man I don't want to miss a single person I don't want to miss a single person. I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, you know, and then what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put the trifold up for $2. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to have two prices on the, on the digital trifold. I'm going to have the $15 version so that if you guys can afford the $15 downloadable version, then just buy it. But then I'm going to have a $2 version for everybody. For uh, Because remember, we have to be a funding apparatus. We have to raise funds. We have to raise money all the time. So I'm gonna take the free code off and I'm gonna make it $2. So if you guys wanna take advantage of the free code, today or tomorrow will be the last day. And then I'm gonna sell the, the digital download for two bucks. Because I, I did the math last night. If we had raised $2 for every free trifold we gave away, we have over 600, 700, more than that. We have, 20, we have 2,400 sales and I think over a thousand of the total sales are for free trifolds. So if we had done two dollars that we would have raised two more grand and then we can do more. You know, because it really is about how, how much effect we have on changing the police state, prison state. 420 right now, smoke them if you got them. It's 420 right now, smoke them if you got them. Smoke them if you got them, it's 420 everybody. And I am going on about three hours of sleep I got one hour last night and then I was at a hike this morning. You guys can check my Twitter. Uh, that's that's how you keep up with my daily movements is on Twitter. Uh, delete laws on Twitter. And uh, you know, I uh, I woke, I was up at 4.30 and I went hard till four o'clock. And then um, I, uh, actually I went to sleep at 4.30 and I woke up at 6.30. So that was my entire I got one hour last night from 3.30 to 4.30 a.m. And then I got from 4.30 p.m. until 6.30 p.m. And then if I had got up at 6.25, maybe I could have gotten a space to speak at the at the Struthers City Council, but they would have done something to deter that, and you know that. So it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, we're, we're living in a tyrannical police state, and so that's just what we're dealing with here. That's just what we're dealing with. And if you guys are joining me right now, I'm just driving out to uh, Christy's house. I'm following her. Um, all super chats are going to go to Christy today. So uh, all all donations will go to Christy because she has too many kids to, to not try to help her. And I'm about 10 minutes away from my destination. So we're about 10 minutes away right now. And then we will... Uh, you know, I can end the live. I don't got to keep you guys on the hook uh, for me driving back. If anything happens to me on the way back, I will turn on my camera and I'll go live and I'll make sure that everybody gets to see. Tommy's a great addition to the mod team. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was 420. It's 421 right now. We've got 421 people in here. You guys make sure you hit the like button. Go over and hit the like button. Let's get to 600 likes. You're supposed to try to get as many likes as you can and comments as you can and shares as you can and subscribers and all these kind of, kind of, it's kind of shallow, but at the same time, it's what actually spreads the message and makes a bigger channel and more people, more people, you know, good to see you, Tommy. Thanks for coming by. You know, I really appreciate you being here. Um, it means a lot to have people that got your back. It means a lot. It really does. 
421 blazing. I actually think uh, I, I would I'm, I, I would love to smoke one tonight. That that was stressful, and my ears are still popping. This one's still crinkling. Oh, that hurt, man. That hurt my ears. Wow. The guy came over there to the gas station to donate money out of his own wallet. That was crazy. The people of Ironton did the exact same thing, and I'm heading home here in the next couple days, so I'll see you guys back in Ironton in the next couple days. I'm heading home. I am indeed heading home, and I'll be over there in the next couple days. I'm not going to announce my schedule. Um, it's just safer for me if I don't. I will post the video of the guy that followed me, and I actually confronted him and put my camera out, and you'll, you know, it, listen, the cops kill people here for jaywalking, so, you know, the, the you know, you, you know, uh, you just got to be cautiously aware of your surroundings, cautiously aware of the, the things that are going on around you, you have to be careful. And so that's all I'm doing by, by making sure that there's people watching, is making sure that, that that I have some protection. That's all I'm doing. And the, the only protection is my camera. And you guys know that. You guys know that. We're almost to 600 likes, you guys. If you haven't hit the like button yet, go over there and hit the like button. Three, almost 400 people in the room still, which is just amazing. What, what? I mean, that's just crazy. That really is crazy. Over 400 again, that's just crazy. It really is. That, that this movement is growing so quickly. And then, oh man, just so you know, you know, Chuck P also, um, Chuck P has actually donated in and is working on the website for zero dollars, for zero bucks. You guys did cover, we had a $200 website, uh, some, just some fees and stuff that, that Chuck had to pay. And you guys, the people who donated covered that. That didn't come out of my store. That came directly from donations. So I want to say thanks for that. I appreciate it. You know? Love you too, man. Love you too. Ron, good to see you, brother. Lively reports, good to see you, man. What does it say? Does not protect you. I can't see what you wrote. It's too many words. Too many words and I'm driving and I don't want to take my eyes off the wheel, off the, uh, the road. I just want to try to make sure that I... Yeah, Chuck P is putting in a lot of time. You know, I, I'm going to do a, a fundraiser for the, for the people who work here. You know, right now we, we're doing a we're, we're we're raising funds for for my legal partner so that so that we can bring him in more on a full time basis. But you know, we need we just we need we need more active fundraising is what we need to do. We really do. And and and, and you know, for the people who say negative things about me or talk shit about me, I don't care, dude. I don't care. I'm going to continue to raise funds to to make sure that the things that have to get done. Example: Aaron Collins. You know, Aaron Collins is going to need a lot of help. He's an articulate, intelligent young man, and that's great Lake Audits. But he's going to need, he's going to need to raise funds. And so I told him after I get back down to Ironton for a bit and cover up the things I got to cover there, cover up my, my cover my court case, and cover, um, make sure I have a meeting with the with the district attorney over there, uh, Philip Heald, and go talk to him and sit down. You know, uh, then we'll we'll see how it goes and. And also I have my lawsuit against uh, WOWK. They just filed a motion to dismiss. And so we're gonna respond to that motion to dismiss. And and we're just slowly but surely building, building, building. And pretty soon, you know, you know, I'm waiting. I got it, you know, we do have some some really good people attached. So I'm slowly but surely building and building and building. We don't stop. And then by the way, Mike sent the final artwork today. I'm just waiting on a, a couple couple things to get the t-shirts coming out. And when those t-shirts start to come out, man, that's going to be great. The We Don't Stop t-shirts. And uh, I believe that we we are legally almost completely set up on everything here. So that's the, we're taking just the last couple steps to make sure that we're protected, that we are protected in our mission here. It's just amazing. It's just... A, it's It's... It's bittersweet is what it is because, you know, people are supporting and coming in and, put, you know, uh, especially the, the uh, David and Danny brothers and Luis and Pam and Judy and uh, Adam and all these folks are coming in. And then you get other people who uh, I called a guy this morning who we were helping for free. We we're helping him for free. And 
he he says to me, I've been reading Facebook and so I'm out. And I said, you're out? You don't have any skin in the game. What do you mean you're out? You mean I'm out? You mean I'm off the hook for helping you for free? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. You've been reading Facebook and so now I'm off the hook to help you for free. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. So you're out or I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to donate my time. I'm going to drive to your state. I'm going to get an Airbnb in your town. I'm going to go to a place I don't know anybody. I'm going to help you, but you're out because you read Facebook and you read bad things about me, which is just crazy. It's just for the guy to say that to me this morning. And that was at like six or seven o'clock this morning. And I, it just, that's how my day started. Uh, after my hike, my hike was at 4.30 and we were on the trail by five. And so then, just incredible. The guy tells me he's out. You're out? What do you mean you're out? What do you mean you're out? <laughs> you mean I don't, gotta, I, don't gotta, I don't gotta raise money to help you for free? <laughs> I don't gotta raise money to help you for free, but you're out. Okay, okay. And then uh, uh, Bobby Law talked me down because it incensed me that he said that to me. It just, I was just, you know, I was, I, I mean, I was, I was hurt because I had listened to the guy's story on the phone for two or three hours. I mean, several return phone calls about his story, about his life, about how the cops were cheating him. And then he reads bad things about me on Facebook and he's out. No, bro. No, bro. You spared me from someone betraying me again later. You spared me, brother. So, you know, now that I've had all day to think about it and I even got a nap in the middle, um, you spared me from you turning on me and lying about me later. Thank you for letting me know that you're a weak person. I read bad things about, 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 about Shauna. I read bad things about Shauna on my uh, YouTube comments and so now, you know, I don't like Shauna anymore because someone said bad things about her and made up lies about her. <laughs> Good thing for you. Good thing for you. Without you, man, you know. Good thing you read things. <laughs> Okay, we're hitting our exit here. I'm almost done. I'm almost to my destination here. And maybe I'll be at a place that's lit. And it's 9.30, so I'm definitely ready for some food. But I didn't fast today. I did not fast. I, I started off the hike with a coffee and a, and a, and a croissant. And I, I didn't fast. I, didn't, I, I fasted two days in a row, 24 hours both days. Ate on the 25th hour. And then, um, and then... And then today I just went through the whole day of just eating regular food. And so it was nice. It was really nice. Nice to eat today. Because on the days that you don't eat, you really are a little bit hungry and a little bit more on edge. I didn't plan on that being that intense, to be honest. That was super intense. That was, that was intense. Was that not? Was anybody here for the moments earlier? That was super freaking intense. That was one of the, that was a super intense thing just, just happened. I hope that, that Ninja saw that and he and he cuts a piece of it out. I hope that Ninja saw that. We don't stop under any circumstances, under any conditions. We do not stop this motorboat. We do not stop this train. We proceed under all duress. You just keep going. No matter how hard it gets, you don't stop. Because if we stop, then the movement stops. And so we can't stop the movement of changing the system. Because this is not rule of law. This is not the rule of law. This is, ty this is tyranny. We're, we're living in a, in, a, in a tyrannical police state, prison state. <laughs> Jenny James Jenny and I have had some funny emails back and forth uh, nice to see a picture of you Jenny thanks for sending a photo nice to meet you 
nice to meet you. Almost there, guys. I'm just a couple minutes away, and then I'll end this live. Yeah, we are the agents of change, that's for sure. The people who are who are here and the people who are following and, and the people who are participating in this, you know, we really are the, the, the agents of change. Did everybody subscribe to uh, Ninja and Chili? Did everybody subscribe to that new channel that we're starting, Ninja and Chili? If you did, please, I'm almost there, guys, and I'm going to cut this live as soon as we get to, to um, Christy's house so that I know she's home safe. And then I feel like I can probably drive home 400 people watching. But I just want to make sure that in case we got pulled over, we got targeted out here in this small little village town that I would be protected and have people at least know that they wrongfully arrested me and impounded my vehicle. Um, and they'll do anything. They'll do anything to stop us. They'll do anything to stop us. And I know that. So they're, they're trying to intimidate and stuff now, but it's not going to work. That's not how I roll. You can, you can say whatever you want. It's not how I roll. I'm just not, it's not, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't work for me, man. The intimidation doesn't work. I'm rightfully concerned about my own safety, but that's not me being scared. It's just me being intelligent. <laughs> it's me being intelligent. I don't, I, I, you know, I don't want to be a martyr, you know. However, you know, there's always that possibility, so. Pretty cool out here. I'm, I'm, I'm in this really hilly area in Ohio. It looks, it, it kind of reminds me of North Carolina where I'm at right now. The, the 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 housing and the hills in North Carolina, it's really hilly. Everywhere you go, you're gonna a hill this way, a hill that way, a hill this way, a hill that way. So it's it's really really crazy. And she lives kind of back in this this woodsy area back here where all these hills are, where there's a, a I don't want to describe it too much, but yeah, it's there's you know it's I guess this is a 35 mile an hour road right here, so it's not as slow as I thought it was. It's a really bumpy road though. You can hear the car. Yeah, this is this is back in the middle of nowhere. They have to have a lit up stop sign out here. Back to 420 again, guys. We're back to 420. Smoke them if you got them. We kind of went through a really strange little area just now. I mean, it's strange to me because I've never lived here, so I don't understand this this neck of the woods. But this is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little area. Okie dokie. Now I'm on the 25 mile an hour road. Almost back, almost back. I cannot wait. I wanna get back to, to my uh, my rental and uh, I, I, you know, the, the, the TV screen breaking has got me messed up because that's the TV screen I use for my main computer. It just sucks, it just sucks. The time it's gonna take to go get another one and make sure it stays in a box this time when I travel. I can't leave the TV outside of the box, so. That councilman, like I don't really agree with your methods. Oh, because so much was happening before I came here with my methods, right? What methods? My only method is exposed on the camera. That's my only method. Expose everything and let the chips fall where they may. That th Those are my methods. Those are my methods he was talking about. I don't like you coming here with your methods. What methods? To expose everything? 
to ratchet up the energy to show that this is a tyrannical police state and this is not rule of law? Is that what you're talking about? Are those methods the ones you're talking about? Because if those are the methods that you're talking about, you got me. You got me. You got me whooped. There it is. I think we're going in. You got me pegged. If you're talking about the methods of exposure, you got me, you got me figured out, brother. You got it. I, I'm going to expose everything. And there's a guy in Ironton who I'm about to expose in a big way. There's a major big wig in Ironton who's about to be exposed. You have no idea. You have no idea what this guy did. And I'm about to, I'm about to show you guys what he did. Because I gave him an offer. I, get, I left him a voicemail. I recorded the voicemail. I'll release the voicemail before I, I, I just expose the guy for what he's done. And that's what I'm going to do. There's, there's a big wig in Ironton who's about to not be a big wig anymore. So if you're one of those big wigs in Ironton and you know who you are, part of the club, you're about to get exposed. They gave me the information about you and what you did. And see, the thing is, is there's, you know, there's people who are going around trying to expose me. There's nothing you're going to say about me that I, that I care about that's going to be like, oh my God, you've shut me down. I've got to quit doing what I'm doing now. Because, you know, whether it be my personal life or finances or criminal record or anything like that, none of these things, I don't, there's nothing you're going to say about me that's going to make me go, oh my God, I need to quit doing what I'm doing now because you... You make videos about me and you exposed me. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Ninja and Chili right there, you guys. 200 subs on Ninja and Chili. Thank you so much. Critical. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. All right. Let me say goodbye to Christy. And then I will probably get off this live because I've been on for two hours and 30 minutes almost. Okie dokie. Okay, Nana. Thank you. You're well, well, my heart for helping my daughter and my Here, dad. come over here in front of the light. We'll, we'll say goodbye. We'll say goodbye to everybody. You're welcome. Don't worry about it. This is. Well, thank you so much. I'm serious. Don't worry. I've done none of this without you. I know. But I that's what. I you. I was like, I live in the ghetto. I'm just warning you. <laughs> this is, this is, this is in the ghetto. We just came up from California, so. Thank you so much. We're getting her out of here. Yeah, oh, you're almost out of here, right? You're almost out of here. Okay. Thank you. All right, you. thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you need a water or anything? Uh, I got water. I'm good. Okay. Thank you, guys. Pour okay. Water. What is it? Pour water, pH balance. I'll take one. You give me one. You got one in your car? I'll drink it. Thanks. Make sure my headlights both work. Yeah, sometimes it lags. Yeah, core water, huh? Oh, yeah. Thank you. You can feel the difference in your body when you drink it. Core water. She gave me core water. Okay. <laughs> Call me if you need anything at all. Tomorrow we do your dash cam and we do your home cams. And yeah. you, But when you guys, before you move, we do the, we do the home cams. Yeah. Okay, but when you move to the, but dash cam tomorrow. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Be safe. Let me know whenever you get home if you have seconds. I will. I promise. I'll call you as soon as I get situated. Okay. I'm just going to jump jump off this. Okay, my friends, um, listen, do me a favor. If you guys will do me a favor, because all the donation money is going go to gonna go to Christy, go buy the online store, pick up an ebook, pick up a poster, um, uh, support what, what I'm doing by picking up my products. That's what you can do. Get a digital poster. Just go buy my store on Delete Laws, get a digital poster, get an ebook. Go pick it up. The ebook's going to help you a lot. It gives you all the Supreme Court cases that you teach to the children by Christy. God bless, hon. There she's go. She's leaving. So if you guys would please, um, uh, hasn't been a banner week as far as finances because I've given the money that you guys have given to me, to Christy, and that all this money from this super chat, $164, $163.96, I'm going to send a Zelly to Christy, which will mean that 30% of that is going to come from my online store. Because snap uh, because uh youtube takes 30 percent. so of the 160 the the i'll be contributing uh uh 40 some odd dollars so if you guys would be so inclined to go by the store delete laws and pick up a 
pick up an indestructible trifold or an ebook or a poster. Um, and if you would, that supports me and what I'm doing. And I'm not going to stop whether people buy my products or not because there's enough people who care and love that I'll get enough support that I need to keep going. I'll go on one of the, remember, you guys remember on um, Dumb and Dumber when he, when he had the dog van? Remember that he had the dog van? Anybody remember that on Dumb and Dumber? And then after the, and then after the dog van, then uh, um, Lloyd Christmas trades in the dog van and he gets a, a tri-scooter, a little tri-scooter. If that's what I have to do, if I have to drive around the country on a tri-scooter with getting bugs in my teeth, that's what I'll do because I'm on a mission and I don't stop because we don't stop. So that's how you guys can support what I'm doing because I have to give her all of this money for the super chat because once I say that I will, I can't break my word. I can't do it. So it has to happen. It has to go that way. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I didn't get into this just for me, even though everything I do is for me. And that's going to be based on Thomas Hobbes theory of the natural man. Uh, that everything you do is you do for yourself and for yourself alone. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Anyway, listen, I will get the flock out of here. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so blessed that there are so many people attached to what we're doing. And just remember one thing. Um, we don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop doing this. There's another place I do have to go in Ohio, but I'm going to go home to Ironton first for just a, a, a little while. And then I've got to travel again, and then I'll be in Ironton again. So thanks, you guys, for coming by. God bless you. God bless the United States. We don't stop. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.